Welcome to 2020. Happy welcome, New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> uh, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles, specifically the Atari 2600, at 60 frames a second. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. Just click some buttons down there somewhere <laughs> so you don't miss anything and YouTube doesn't screw up in its string of the audio at whatever it's craziness craziness <laughs> welcome everybody back to the show we had a little bit of a break yes went it away looked... for vacation it feels like weeks since I've been on I think it oh, has might been, have been. <laughs> it's been like a month times out yeah, yeah I think we were just off for like two or three two yeah. weeks two and a half two something like that yeah maybe a little more than that yeah, yeah look good um the camera's a little high it's a little high oh yeah james uh james got a new camera well it was used on the last show oh was it oh yeah. i guess you did get it beforehand yeah 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 but uh it's new to me yeah. <laughs> maybe i'll just zoom in hold on everyone uh, do i have to slide over make sure i'm under my name <laughs> oh good okay okay yeah it's a 4k camera but we're not broadcasting at 4k still 1080p because you don't need to broadcast this at 4k not yet anyway didn't see the multimeter on the list of games multimeter what what did we do for the holidays we went to the in-laws my yes. in-laws your laws my laws yeah. <laughs> My uh, in, Ontario. in Ontario, so we were we were a little ways away, and yep. uh, fortunately it wasn't minus forty, so uh, it's only minus it ten. Did. Not even, not <laughs> it even. It hovered around zero. It rained a bit here and there, and then yeah. it snowed a bit here and there, so it wasn't yeah. too bad. Yeah, we were able to escape. Without, yeah, we got uh, out without injury. getting locked in. So <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> Which happens sometimes. Didn't rent a car this time. So no, that didn't was have bad. To return that. And, no, oh. yeah. So yeah, that that was what we were up to. Yeah. 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 Parents. Yeah. Uh, nieces, nephews, uh, lots yeah. of people. So yeah, it was good. Um, yeah. And um, I was arranging at the same time while I was out east the 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards, which mm -hmm. we'll get to in a second. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? It's now Tanya O'Brien, not just Tanya. It's always been Tanya O'Brien, actually. Yeah, it's um, when when you have the zoomed in shot of the when game, it, gets small. it becomes. There's not much room. Yeah. It just goes James and Tanya. Yeah. That's that's probably what you're remembering. Yeah. The D train went to Halifax. Oh, uh, are you Canadian uh, or was that cross border? Yeah. Trip. Halifax is lovely. Is it? I never like, been. I like there. Halifax. I've never been to it's any of city. the uh, uh, eastern seaboard of Canada. Yeah, like the Atlantic coast. Just Quebec and Ontario. Yeah, but not in Canada. But you've been to. Never uh, been to Manitoba. That's the one in between. <laughs> yeah. Or any of the eastern ones. Uh, so. Brooklyn to Halifax isn't too, too okay. far. Ago, I okay, that's not too far. Yeah. Still east coast. Um. Uh, but you have been to Maine. We went one year. Yeah, that's and true. So New York east coast and, of Canada. Yeah, just the U.S., but not necessarily in Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Very nice. So I uh, want to thank everybody who is tuning in. Mm -hmm. um, the D Train 37, Arena Foot, RC70, Dan AVC, uh, Cafe Man 2D. Uh, I Sposta, uh, Dan, and ABC? Every, Dan ABC, and all yeah. the other people who are not typing right now. <laughs> and I want to thank all the Twitch one. subscribers as well. Cafe Man 2D, yep. uh, Coconut 81, Gretems, Ground Trooper, I Sposta, Johnny WC23, Carl G, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strom, RC70, Repentless VG, Sir Cat Legs, Spartan 581, S Ramirez 2008, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, and Zach Scalero. And should we deal with that stink that's in the other room? I don't smell anything. Mm, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Do you want me to yes, deal please. with that? Yes, please. It's really... I can't deal oh, with that for the next half hour. Um, so if you want to get on that list of names and support the show, uh, you can subscribe for free through Amazon Prime if you link your Twitch... Amazon Prime? Through Twitch Prime if you link your Amazon Prime. And uh, and then you can support the show for free. You get one a month. So there be a cut. There was a couple of people who lo dropped off the list. So make sure you renew it because I don't think they remind you. So if you didn't hear a name and you usually subscribe, click that subscribe button again. Um. So we have a whole bunch of unboxing to do because it was Christmas time. So that's the time for video games and gifts. I think that's when 
a lot of people got their first console was for Christmas. I think we asked that question one time um, on this show. When did you get your first console? Um, what was it? Was it for a birthday? Was it for Christmas? Was it otherwise? I always got things during otherwise. It was never during Christmas or birthday. But now, it's a mix still. But sometimes during Christmas. So let's go over the things that the things. we got. Ooh. So Tanya got this for me. Yes. It's Galaga. And it is a little uh, tabletop form factor. And... Hold up to the mic. So what this is, is one, another one in the long line of tabletops mm. that aren't just emulation. If you remember back to the old school um, type of tabletops, like the old Frogger and Pac-Man. I've got a green one because that one's green as well. Um, where it's just segmented displays mm. where you move around the screen and it's, and it's not um, LCD. It's just, it's like, I don't know what, what kind of technology Well, they're like li liquid crystal dis displays. They are still. Some yeah. of them are, yeah. But they're not pixels. They're shapes. No. Yeah. And you light up each of the shapes. Like along the bottom of this, in Galaga, there's a whole row of your ship. And there's like eight different spaces for your ship. And then you fire and a little rocket goes up. And the it's unbelievable, the recreation. This one is a... Highly recommended. It's the newest one that's come out in the line. And that brings it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the ninth one. Mm -hmm. So I've got them all. Um, th this, there is a line like this, and then there's a line where it is emulation. Like, oh, because there's those. That Pac-Man one, you can see, that's what I think of oh. as a liquid crystal display. And and it's got the, the maze burned in yeah. already. I don't know if they can see that, that makes but... sense. That's okay. A little, yeah, little there you reflective. Go. Yeah. 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 This go. is different though. This one no, it's, it's the same. Is same it? same technology. But it has different colors. It's yeah. not just like that two tone no. black. Oh and white. yeah, this is a color one. Yeah. Um so, VFD? I know uh, means a technical person to yeah. be able to tell you what that is. Not technical enough. Yeah. But anyway, I've got the full line of them so far. Um they go from terrible, which is joust. That's the worst one. Don't get joust, mm -hmm. if, unless you collect them all. Mm. Um, Pac-Man's great. Galaga's great. Asteroids is actually really good. Mm. Cubert's good. Space Invader's good. Tetris is really good. Uh, Centipede is good. Frogger's good. Mm. Joust is terrible. So that's the one to avoid if you don't want to get that one, because it's impossible to play. Because mm. flapping your wings and you only move like segments, mm. so hard to figure out. So let's put this back, because there's a lot of stuff here. In lime green, yes. Um, and this will please Arena Foot. I got these mm -hmm. as well. I ordered these for myself. This is the brand new volume three of the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion by Brian Mathern. And it has a whole bunch more new games in here, new and old games. And I think his plan right now is the volumes will cover the old games up to 2017 or 16. Mm. Then he's going to be doing 2018, 2019, 2020 volumes of covering each year's new homebrew. So these are going to be the archive ones, and then he'll be compiling the new ones. Yeah. And pre-2018. Exactly. So I got it right. And he, I also got this Christmas one. It is a Atari 2600 Holiday Homebrew Companion, which covers all the holiday games. And it was mm. a thick one. So, you know, that like Stay Frosty one. and Stay Frosty 2. And yeah, very clearly the holiday games are popular. Yes. And a whole bunch of hacks mm. um, as well. Nice. Um, so if you have any uh, Christmas games, this gives you lots of tips and go. tricks yeah. and how to play it and where lots to get of, it. Lots of work, I'm sure, getting this all together. There you go. Too. 24 titles in nice. the this one. So if you enjoy homebrew games, I definitely recommend these because they have all the mm -hmm. Easter eggs in them. If you uh, don't know where all the tricks are and on how to get free men and things like that, highly recommended. Uh, the next thing I got as well, I'm just going to go by my list so I don't miss anything, is we got <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the right size. The Nintendo Switch. So 
we knew we were going to be getting this since it came out. Um, and that you had bought five Switch games already. <laughs> that mm -hmm. I've been collecting Switch games yeah. already. <laughs> um, so this is the new version because this is... I think it came out... There's an older version, then there's a version 2 that yeah. fixed a couple things. Yeah. Uh, longer battery life and a couple of other minor things. Because there's always revisions, there's always upgrades yeah. to fix some things. Yeah. Um, and bought some games alongside it. We got Cave Story little sticker on it we got yep. cave story we bought this uh boxing day sale at a uh, uh lo yeah local um reseller reseller in, in ottawa so i had this on my list to buy what are they called game game zetra game zetra yep so they had a two for one deal they for... had a great selection of games there really good so and and yeah buy one get one free if it was below a certain price yeah, 24.99 yeah, it yeah. was, and all pretty much all the games if they were below twenty four ninety nine. So it was a really good deal. Yeah, and we also got Super Mario Odyssey, of mm -hmm. course, and The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wind, Wild, not Wind, Breath of the Wild, mm -hmm. and we had some games already um, because they're all limited run games. So and also another non limited run game, uh, Slime Sand Super Slime Edition, limited run, Mercenary Kings Reloaded Edition from Limited Run. Uh, Dan Maku Unlimited 3 from Limited Run Shooter and Mega Man 11 not Limited Run Unlimited <laughs> <laughs> so lots of games to play and we also this had uh, the download code for Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe mm -hmm. um, so that's a fun game as well that we can play two players we got yep. an extra joystick we got an extra, as well yeah uh, that extra controller controller yeah yep. So, and also picked up some games, other games at uh, that game store for the DS, Donkey Kong Country, 3D Returns, yep. and Kirby Triple Deluxe. Yep. Fun games, two for one. And I also got this recently, Battle Princess Madeline, um, which I ordered two years ago on Kickstarter, and it finally came through. It was made through Limited Run, but it's not a Limited Run game. Oh, very really? confusing. Hmm. But that looks like a very nice platformer. Can't wait to play that. Uh, let's see. The next thing is from Australia. Tiny. Doesn't the Switch already have a homebrew scene? Probably. <laughs> homebrew. They have a different terminology for what homebrew is. Really? On some of the newer consoles. Yeah. Homebrew to them is hacking the console so you can load pirated games on it. Oh, it has nothing true. to do with the homebrew that we're doing. And it's very annoying that they use that word. Mm. And it originally uh, came about because they were going to... It's like under the guise of loading other games that you made on the system. Yeah. And that is the only way to do it. Yeah. Is to hack it so you can sideload games onto it. Mm. But obviously the side effect is that um, you get pirated games as well. <laughs> so um, this is the thing I've been waiting for. Um ordered a little while ago and it is from a person who made the mod for the Atari 2600 RGB. Oh. And this is the piece that I needed. Ooh. Recognize that. that. You probably looked at that a couple times. Maybe. Maybe. It is the power distributor. I always Hold forget up. the name. Um, this is the thing that powers. No, there is no autofocus. Oh, it really? Because of the lens. Oh, yeah. uh, true. So this uh, will hopefully get me across the finish line for fixing my R RGB 2600. We can go Excellent. back to regular um, non-emulated. Authentic. Yes, authentic yeah. RGB <laughs> proper um, because it was outputting low voltage, mm. the old one. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tim, who did the RGB mod, um, who made the RGB mod, um, said this may not be the solution. The five volt board for the RGB 2600, yes. Um, so it is a present for everything. Yes, back to original hardware. <laughs> it's a hopes. Hanukkah present for all of us. That's right. It's, very it's a Hanukkah miracle. <laughs> uh, so hopefully this will fix it. And uh, it's fairly simple to solder. It's only three solder points, I believe, on this. Um, mm. So we'll see. Will you drag our... Um... Uh, Darcy? Darcy into it because he does a bit of solder. Well, Darcy won't be here for a while. Oh, that's true. So next here? Friday. Next Friday. So yeah. a week. Oh, I see. Yeah. And I want to get it for next Wednesday. Yeah. 
So this weekend I'll be working on this. Okay. It's just three solder points and they're very, very wide. So my Shouldn't sloppy, be. terrible soldering should be able to get us there. Yeah, let's hope we'll so. see. <laughs> and if you hold that for a second, Ooh. I'll show the address. Um, no, yeah. Is Darcy in jail again? Yeah, he is <laughs> back in jail. No, it's not his Friday. It's next Friday. Next Friday he's back. Yeah. Yeah. He's here every second Friday, and mm. Tanya's here every second Friday. <laughs> so yeah, he's in jail this weekend. I can't remember what this is, but it's video game related. Oh yes. So just in time for getting it fixed, here's the Ranger. I ordered two of them. Ranger Premium good. Wired Gamepad for the Atari 2600 and Retron 77. Mm -hmm. And anything else that is Atari 2600 related. Um, so this is a very interesting <laughs> piece of hardware. It's a D-pad with one button. And it also has, which is why I got it, mm -hmm. it has a uh, paddle at the end of it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, to use it, you have to use a Y splitter, which I don't know if it comes with it. Um, I'll have to get one. So, hmm. So let's take a look at this. <laughs> you opening it up? Yeah. I'll let you open that one then. Yeah. Hmm. Or are we using both of them? I've... Nope, 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 nope. Just one. Just okay. one for now. Don't need them both open. They're exactly the same. We're not going to actually use them. Because I don't have an adapter to PC. Because to use uh, DB9 joysticks, you have to have a USB adapter, right? Because these don't plug into a computer. Oh! Right? They're not mm. USB. Uh, I wish I had scissors. Is it driving controller style or paddle? Uh, it is paddle. Because hmm. there's not many... Destroying this. I need scissors. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> I would say you could use my nails, but they're not very sharp right now. <laughs> what? Yep. Ugh. That's supposed to happen at four o'clock. They hold it in. <laughs> they held it in till the show. Yeah. It's not as stinky. <laughs> um, probably because the fan's on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> bad cats. Very bad cats. There we go. That's why they're running around. Mm -hmm. Did they actually come in the couch yet? Not yet. Atari. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look at this. People on the internet have already unboxed this already. They've yeah. taken a look at it. This shirt is too small. <laughs> that we'll get to the Christmas shirt in a second. present to him. And yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, Sadly, it was a little... It's a Bosconian yeah um arcade boscognian shirt and uh i am a small to medium well i think what and happened is we washed it and i think it it kind of mm. shrunk down a bit but mm. yeah. sorry about that keep having to pull it up <laughs> anyway this uh oh interesting this is not bad yeah this stops and driving controllers don't paddles stop. oh they keep i see i see i believe is it stiff not too bad. It's a little stiff. That's okay. I prefer okay. stiff and yeah. having a bit more control. It just depends on how f how fast the throw is. Like how much you have to turn it to yeah. make it effect on the screen. Mm, this is neat. I don't mind that, eh? Yeah. It's a good uh, a good feel to it. Yeah. It's got a bit of... Uh, so we'll test that out uh, when it's all fixed. Bounce and spring back. So yeah, it is it's got digital. got a bit of resistance. It's not analog. Okay. Because 2600 doesn't have analog. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And a very long cord stiff. as well. Yeah. Yeah, that is stiff. Oh, that is, yeah. So it's very, that very nice. That is really good, yeah. So, yeah, and I got this t-shirt yes. from you. Yes. Thank you very much. It's too small. <laughs> so we may have to... We'll uh, give this to you and get a medium because <laughs> I really like this shirt. Yeah, yeah, That's... I might have to get you a medium. Um, so I got some, they're crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> Two cats went by? Just one. Oh. Atari. We've got some comments. Um, this one's from YouTube, Guillermo. Okay. Uh, I love your video about Atari games and gameplay. Uh, 
this English is not his first language, so I'm going to be translating it a little bit. I discovered uh, the Atari world thanks to you, and I have ordered the Retron 77 to play some 2600 games. I can't wait to play. That's very cool. So that's amazing. So yeah. Somebody who was never even into 2600 yeah. games watch the channel and is uh, ordered a Retron 77 to play some of the games. That's very cool. Because that's a really yeah. easy way for somebody to get into it. Yeah. And just download a bunch of the homebrew off of, yeah. you know, websites and play new games. Yeah. On an HD television. Mm. Uh, and this one's from Christopher on Facebook. Uh, hey, uh, you guys are in Canada as well, eh? No, hey or for you ca guys in Canada. I have no idea. Uh, enjoy your show on YouTube. Another person who doesn't speak English. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm subscribed as Dr. Mopar's High Performance. Enjoyed the 2600 as a kid, playing at friends and family's house, and recently renewed my passion for the Atari. Um, the reason I'm writing to you, t-shirt ideas for you to sell. <laughs> so picture a black t-shirt with the image of either you, Erlen, your wife, the cats, all in white, on the sleeve, zero page homebrew, <laughs> and an image of an Atari system. Then each shirt would have a person or the cat's slogan. The cats have a slogan? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to give, ex give an example, a picture of Erlen's face smiling, and in quotes it would say, fuck yeah, friends. <laughs> or a slogan of your choosing. For you, Mr. O'Brien, maybe something like your face smiling and, and says James Heavy Sixer O'Brien. I don't actually own a Heavy Sixer. Mm. I got very close one year of buying one, but um, I want one in the box because I wouldn't play it. It would be like a, a showpiece. Um, so I'd feel disingenuous putting Heavy Sixer Aww. on a shirt. Um, I'm sure you get the idea, but I think they would be awesome. I get a laugh from your show, especially when the cats jump on the equipment. I don't get a laugh. <laughs> I think you get a laugh from me freaking out about the yeah. cats jumping on the equipment. Especially Pixel when he gets in a mood. Yeah. Atari, not just for cats anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Um, and the fact that Erlen is a total 360 of yourself should be 180. Uh, James O'Brien, people say that all the time. 360 brings you back to the exact same spot. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. but it's it's a saying. Um, James O'Brien, arch nemesis Erlen, <laughs> uh, could be another shirt. Thanks, just wanted to share some ideas. Feel free to view some of my videos on YouTube. We work on Mopars old and new. What are Mopars? No idea. It's like Mo what is it? How is it spelled? M O P A R S. I think it's cars. Something to do with cars. I'm not sure. Mopars. Mm. No idea. Hi. Are you coming in to say hi? <clears throat> Are you going to jump on all the equipment? Come, sweetie. So, now for the Atari Awards update. So, 2019 is over. That means the cutoff has happened. Yeah. It was December 3rd, it's 31st at the end of the day. Um, so we took all the games that were put out. <laughs> the cat's just like, no. Staring at us. He's like, what trouble can I cause? Um, all the games are put out in 2019. Uh, divided them up into completed and works in progress for Atari 2600. And um, now we've handed them over to the nomination committee. Who is going to narrow down the big field of games. <laughs> Crazy cats. <laughs> um, down to 10 per category. Mm. And we have, you know, best homebrew, best work in progress, best um, graphics, best sound. Mm. Um, and we've added, oh, best for, best 4K and under. That's a new category this year. Mm. And we've also added um, 20, Atari 2600. Um, I always forget the title of this. It's the honoring honoring people lifetime achievement award oh, that's what it is nice. yep the a lifetime achievement award so that's that's an interesting one somebody who hasn't contributed to the atari 2600 in the homebrew realm in a big way um so the nomination committee is on that right now and they'll be done around the 10th and then the public voting starts on january 18th so mark your calendars january 18th yeah and we're also adding in uh 7800 games and 8-bit 5200 games. Mm -hmm. So we have a separate nomination committee for the 5200 and 8-bit games as well. And there aren't enough 7800 games to have a nomination committee. <laughs> They're just all there. Yeah. I think there's like five. Five. Yeah, Fair not, enough. Fair so enough. Everybody gets to vote on every single yeah. 7800 game ever put out in 2019. Yeah. 
Why there's so many important sounding titles last year? How many people voted last year? That's a good question. I will get that for next show. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, almost 200. I think that is about correct, so yeah. I don't need to look it up. There. It's quite, quite a large group, group, really, more than I might have expected. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people did, yeah. And it takes place in the Atari Age Forum, so if you're not already mm. a member, make sure you sign up. Mm -hmm. and I'm, almost everybody's a member. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, so some interesting stats that I can pass on. Um, 60 completed homebrews, qualifying homebrews, wow. were made this year. Wow, that's finished. a lot. Yeah. Like either that were put in a box or they said, yep, yeah, it's done. Here's the final version for the binary. Quite a few. Um, mm -hmm. 22 that were under 4K. So definitely enough for a field. And that's why I uh, made that broken out field. Okay. And 4Ks sometimes get lost in the big, huge games mm -hmm. that are released. Um, so it would, it was, I thought it'd be nice to, uh, honor Have those. that as a separate category. Yeah. yeah. Shine a spotlight on it. Um, 71 work in progress homebrews were updated mm. in 2019. It's quite a few. And 38 are eligible for, uh, the packaging award. So they either put it in a box. So 38 out of the 60, mm. either put it in a box or have some graphics or a manual along with it, something, some label, something like that. And I broke down the sizes as well. Well, really, Arena Foot did. Um, uh, one kilobyte games, one of them. Two kilobyte games, three of them. Four kilobyte games, 18. Uh, eight kilobytes, nine. 12 kilobytes, two. So one person did both of those. It's a very unusual number. Mm. Um, he would have to pad it out, I think, if he put it onto a ROM. Mm. on an actual thing uh 16 kilobyte games eight of them 32 kilobytes 14 and two 64 kilobyte wow. games these are completed because works in progress can change so we don't really care about the size yeah. of those yeah the thing and they change, change all the time because yeah. they, they add new graphics in they have to expand it um oh dan's gonna add it to the avc online calendar and send an email to the yahoo groups thank you dan Excellent. and he just recently uh, updated those two things as well with the show to remind yes. people that the show exists. Yay! Um, Come here. So, okay. we've got four games we're going to be playing today. Ninja Guy in Low Res World. Nice! And it is a release candidate three, so it's pretty much the final version of it. We're just going to be looking for bugs. Hi! Oh, that's a nice pose no. for two seconds. Oh, I can hold that. Uh, we're going to be playing Pilot X Hi. by AngelSoft. Hi! Hi! Uh, Snowflakes 2019 by Lol Lolqui 64 mm -hmm. and Hugo Hunt by Angelsoft as well. And that was 2019. Hmm. Oh, there's all the categories. Thank you very much, Arena Foot. Uh, best 2600 homebrew, best 7800 homebrew, best Atari 8 bit 5200, best under 4K 2600, best graphics 2600, best music and sound 2600, best packaging 2600, best work in progress 2600, and Atari Lifetime Achievement Award 2600. I covered them all. Didn't miss any. Mm -hmm. So the first one we're going to be playing is Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. This is a brand new version of it. Okay. Uh, it was released yesterday. Nice. <laughs> so let's get that up and going. Hopefully the joystick is still mapped. If it's not, it takes two seconds. But uh, Okay. Ninjish Guy. January 2nd. And let's get screen ready oh that's what I forgot to do is get these graphics but it only takes two seconds so go there we go oh that's the wrong screen hooray That. Turn down the volume a bit. Oh, cat's fighting. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. No good? No good. So let's just fix that. Oops. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it input? Joystick database? No. Ooh, gamepad 2. Is this sensing itself as gamepad 1? 
Oh, look, this is working. Oh, I think that button doesn't start the game. There okay, you go. there we go. Okay, button just didn't start the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, have you played this before? No. Oh, clearly not. And that's not what you. Ah. Uh, wait a second. I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit. There we go. Get your back. So, this is an incredible platformer. Um, cute little guy. Turn it down here. And I did work on the audio delay. So there shouldn't be any audio delay and video delay between what you see on the screen and what we are doing for input. Ah! Oh, no. So close. Okay, so this was first posted April 23rd, 2019 on Facebook. This build, like I said, was from yesterday. It's a 32K F4 game. And uh, uh, made by VHZC, uh, Vladimir Zuniga. Um, and the other games he's made is Doremi, Draco, Iran, Night Guy in Low Res World, Low Res Racer, Ninja Guy, Peril, and Roach in Space. He has been very, very busy. How do you restart? Uh, it is F2. Okay. Minute to uh, the third screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Uh, so we played this last on May 8th, 2019, uh, which was the exclusive premiere that we had of this game. Um, was that with Darcy or was that with Erlen? <laughs> good question. Whatever the day May 8th, 2019 was, if it was a Wednesday, it was with Erlen. If it was on a Friday, it was with Darcy because you have never played this before. So let me tell you, you can mm -hmm. duck by pressing down. <laughs> And slide, apparently. Well, if you press to the right or left, yes. I didn't, but sure. Oh, <laughs> or oh, I did, did a little bit. Did a little bit. And you'll have to do that to go under those. Actually, you can jump mm. over them, too, but it's way easier to slide. Slide. You can slide under those red things? Yeah. Ooh, are you sure? Yes, I can. Yeah. yeah. Very, very sure. There you go. Oh, so much easier. <laughs> jump it. You can jump them, but that's a lot more harder. Hi, kitties. Atari. Danny VC says, looks like a cool game. Hey, yeah. VHZC's here. Welcome, VHZC. Excellent. He'll be here to answer all your questions. Oh, you're just off the platform. Oh, just ever so slightly. There you go. And I've been playing Cave Story quite a bit. You have to jump on his head. On his head? Yeah. Squarely on his head. There yes. you go. I have a lot of trouble with that, actually, that guy. Those guys, because they come again. Um, so, uh, he, on his initial post, it said, Hi guys, some weeks ago I started to code a new game. It's a platformer game and uses the same engine from my previous game, Night Guy. Uh, 0 0.1G, I wanted to share the first public beta. 0.2A, more levels, more enemies, more sprites, more mechanics and items. 2B, 0.2B, I've been really busy at a job, but finally I found a little bit of time to dedicate to the game. So here's a new beta. More lives, more enemies, more sprites, more mechanics and items. Uh, point 2C, new beta, more screens. 40 plus until now. And some have to be played more than once. Uh, tweak and re redesign of some previous ones. Uh, point 2D, new beta, almost finished. Only needs the final event for be to, to be ready for a release candidate. And then the one we're playing, release candidate three, uh, minor tweaks. I think this will be final if no bug is found. So we're here to find bugs. Good job. Uh, there is a heart in that screen. This screen? This screen? There, jump. There's a little, little oh, jump. There. Nice. nice. I didn't know there was a heart. I think that's a new addition. Or I never saw it before. I haven't played RC2, so... Or did I? I don't know if I played RC2. Thank you for that hint, VHZC. How many um, screens total now on this on this game? Because you said about 40 plus on a previous one. And, and that's not counting doubling up. Like, is unique, unique screens. And one of VHZC's strong points is his very unique um oh well, you don't have to go over there well it's true oh my god you're jumping so late after that <laughs> scaring me um 
is this creative um, level layout. Every single screen has a very distinct layout. And um, go, 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 there you go. Sliding all the way. And they're all they're very very creative, and uh, you'll see that next week in Peril when we play when we have the uh, world exclusive debut of the new Peril. Um, it's gone undergone a complete redesign. All the levels look different. Um, all the graphics look different. Oh no! Answer from VH. Let's see. <laughs> How many levels? How many levels? Good slide last screen. <laughs> Good job. Oh! Cafe Man 2D liked your slide. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're way better jumping on their heads than I am. I get really? killed at least once a, once ago. Yeah. I love these. Love the look of these. They're just so Yeah, they huge. do look really good. Ugh. You have to go really... There you go. Actually, sliding gives you a tiny bit oh, more time. Oh, sliding is good. Yeah. Never thought it's to all slide. sliding. And you can jump and land, so you have a lot of time to get on it. Oh. Yeah, don't go Freaking to the me left. out. Don't go to the left. <laughs> there you go. Reminded me of that super long soccer slide commercial. I think I see that one. One of the things that I've always loved about Atari animation is that it's so smooth. That is true. There's no slowdowns. It's 60 frames a second. Um, so you have lots of frames of an, um, to, to move things around. Ooh, this is tough. <laughs> he's, got, he's got things in games that I've never seen in other games. Wait, what? what, what? Oh. <laughs> button button and i love the effect that he does these are beautiful yeah did you notice <sighs> you notice <laughs> the screen close. dims <gasps> on the lightning bolt as if your eyes are adjusting to the lightning bolt so gorgeous he has that in uh peril level as well i'm glad it's not dark completely <laughs> at least it flashes once in a while my biggest hate are maze levels and darkness levels. Okay, I have to jump on his head. Oh, it's not Lord. a panic. You have a safe spot. Up there. Oh. <gasps> I can't jump on him twice? You can. But you have to be very careful to be right on his head and not in the front. Oh. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Well, it's at least you get hurt. Oh, come <laughs> it's on, like you're sliding then. off it. There you go. Two hits. And the animation of the ladder coming down, his games are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love VHZC's games. Nice jumping. Bad. Reminds me of the Spies in the Night. Mm -hmm. The spotlight. Nope. Yeah, Dark Room. Yes, that's true. It's because um, you can do a trick on the Atari mm -hmm. 2600 by making the, the background... Terrible. Going over. No. <laughs> the background the same color as the play field, which dis makes everything disappear. But then make a big round sprite from player two and focus it on your player. That's so you can job. see that spotlight is a four pixel wide spotlight. Excellent. Oh. What? <laughs> Patterns. It's a puzzle. <sighs> I got the idea of Spotlight from the Atari Basic game I typed from a magazine. Oh, oh he just enough. got me! When I was a teen. Ah. Yeah, I think that they use it also in um, Haunted House. Oh, just Is that a bug? Because it's not red when I jump on it. No, it's red. No. You have to time when it. When I... Yeah. Oh, I, did, I wasn't watching. I was yeah. reading. I'm jumping way too late. Way no. too late. Way too late? You have to jump just before the it, first one di changes. But I jump as it goes down. No, you're you jumping well. You're jumping well after the fire. No, but I have to jump high. I think that's part of the problem because there's you, you jump up. So I'm not landing mm. on it right away. So you're right. I could be jumping before the red completely extinguishes. Yes, yes. To get a bit more yeah. time. Yeah. So close. Oh my god. Gotta get used to this. <laughs> Joystick. 
You don't need to jump in each. That's true. You can kind of double jump it. That's true. Double that would get it. it. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, like jump because if you if you if you hit the left, you go really far when you jump. Okay. You can't skip one though. Yeah. Can you? No, that's that's what uh, really? BHZ, ZC is saying. Oh. You can't skip it, which makes sense. Anyway, that one. <laughs> yeah. It takes a little Way getting better. used to the the control, but it's not too. Yeah. It's not too bad. Get him! Yay. I see you do that just fine. Eh, not always. I need that. <laughs> the jump is long enough, yeah. Ah. I did not know that. Slide! Goal! They they are um, out of out of sync with each other. They are. So you have yeah, to you have time to wait so. until it kind of makes sense. Look at the animation of climbing. I know so it's good. so good. Jesus. Oh, no, I've got three lives left. Terrible. Terrible. There's so many levels you have so to do pretty. in this. How many levels? Uh, at do least you know? 40. He hasn't 40? answered. He's not answering. Uh, he's not letting me know. <laughs> I love all the, the different icons, the skulls. Oh, so much variety. Little... Unbelievable. Oops. Too hard. This one's just a fun one. I was saying with this one, when the lightning goes, everything dims, as if your eyes are adjusting to the lightning. Oh my god. Or that the lightning going off is dimming the lights. Uh, yeah, that too. That's probably that's, was the that's, intention. That's, you know, too much, too much power and voltage. That's one life. Mm. Terrible. I blame the joystick. <laughs> Two. Always three, right? Always three. Oh, oh four. Three. Mm. Maybe you have to double jump him. I only hit him a couple times. There you go. You do have to double jump. Maybe not. No, no, no. No, no, no. I have to say, I don't think I hit him that many times. You can see the goal, which is fun. Because you did say you have to double, double back on some levels. Yep, that makes sense. So you have to get there. So far, I haven't seen options for, you know, it's it's one entrance, one exit, if that makes sense. So far. So far, yeah. And now the fire. Yeah, so you, you can double jump. From here. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, that's so much easier. So that's a door, not a key. Yeah. So much easier. Thank you for the incredible. Yeah, that's a very good tip. Helpful tip there. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you? Oh, you get to that door from this side because it's a door. You don't have to go around. It's, it's down a there. through. Yeah. Yay. Beautiful. Love Good job. Ladder animation. This is so nice. I only have one life left though. I'm so scared. Oh no. Uh, go get that ninja. Blue ninja. And oh, green, green ninja. ninja. Do you have to double hit, hit him? Maybe. <gasps> he's fast. Oh, he's so fast. Oh no. <laughs> no. Do you want to play? No, play again. Play okay. another one. Yeah, you got pretty far. I'll do better this time. No, we'll lose oh, all my lives. You were doing pretty good. <laughs> I just lost a, a lot in the beginning. So I was getting used to the joystick. Well, it does take a it does take a little bit. Haven't played in a while. For instance, I died on that fire. It was terrible. <laughs> Unacceptable. Mm. Mm. RC seven E. Talking about the dark rooms, it was used really well in Haunted House. I remember yes. being afraid to play that game as a kid. <laughs> Looks 
so close. It's Not all, much room in that. It's all about the dark rooms and the water levels, really. Oh, water <laughs> levels. Water levels are brutal. Ah! Oh my god! Cutting it too close. There is such a thing. <sighs> Two lives on this stupid thing. Pauses. He's a little slower. The blue mm. ninja. I think the green one just ran back and forth. I could be wrong about that. Ah! Ah! Stupid. See, now I'm down to three stupid lives again. It's all about it. Ah! Two. Maybe there's some extra hearts somewhere. There you uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> Never know. Up here? Graphics in this. Oh. It always says to look for bugs, but I never find bugs in his games. Ah, the total length of the game is 53 sc screens plus a hidden one. Oh my god. But unique ones are 40 ish because some of them you have to pass back and forth. Oh, okay. Ah, that makes sense. It's about 40 screens. Okay. So is this guy a double jump, or did I just have to hit him a bunch? I don't know. You hit him five times. It's one. Two. Maybe I did hit him five times, I just... Oh. Whoa! No, oh, three. Three! Random? Hmm. Random hit well. points? I don't know. I have one stupid life left. Oh. The screens. <laughs> oh my god. And you jumped on the fire. <laughs> you wanna go? Mm -hmm. Give it one more. Mm -hmm. Is this basic or 6507? Just curious, not really familiar what you can do with Batari basic. Pure Batari, vanilla kernel. Unbelievable. Some of the games that people are making with Batari basic. Mm -hmm. It's obviously become very valuable, uh, very powerful, or people are just really understanding what can be done with Batari Basic now. Kitten, are you going to be in trouble? Oh, yes. Ah! Why can't I get up there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Trouble. Funny. It's quite good. <laughs> it is definitely quite good. <laughs> Oh, right on the oh, edge. Oh no! <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, that was close. Very close. Oh, get your free life. Where? Oh. Yeah. I don't know why. I find this one really hard. It is actually one that has very, oh. very tight margins. It has very tight margins. Especially along the top. The bottom one doesn't seem to be as bad. No. I don't know why. It's because it's going. It's go, still going towards you. You want to stop that? Be a good cat. Be a bad cat. Don't make us close the door. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh no! Oh, did you start light? You'll make it. That one has a big wide. That margin. has a oh, wide margin, yeah. 2461. Oh, it did much worse this time. <laughs> the second time for some reason. Because I died. Way over there. Sometimes it's just. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> Hi. 
I also got a Sega Master System shirt. Oh no. <laughs> At least what is wrong with me? I'll wear that next time. The Sega Master System? Yeah. That's definitely one system I almost never play. But I do have one. There we go. That's a good there kick. Go. Yay, still three lives. Sometimes you just, like, fake yourself out a little or something. I don't know. Hi. Hi. Icebo says, yes, quite good. Only creative use of the seven objects, two players, two missiles, ball, play field, and background. Yes. Well, I mean... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, there's no... There's no flickering on on any of this game. Yeah, very, very smart placement. Because that's a duplication on the bottom there. You can see they both are animated at the same time. So, lightning is player... There's player one and the... Woof! And uh, your player zero. And if there's any enemies, they're... They're staggered. And the rest would be playfield. And on this one, the spotlight is player one. And that is a... Player zero is you. Player one is the enemy there. The rest is playfield. Let's see if I can interpret each... Oh, I jumped on his front. Oh. Controls for the slide are down to the left, down to the right. Yeah. Double hit. That's a mystery. VH said, see, what is, what is that guy? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you've hit him six times. Sometimes yeah. you've hit him three. The double hits seem to kill him. But you don't have to hit him with, you don't have to kill him with a double hit. It's just very strange. So far, all I can conclude is, yeah, is a random amount of uh, hit points. Oh. This one's just play field plus the two objects. And that is a triplication going down to a single and double. Oh, oh we fell down to the pit. Oh, no. In fact, I sacrificed mm. one missile to obtain no blank lines. You've got a cat. I know. This is a very unique situation. Do you want me to play again, or are you going to um, play with it? Oh, no. Pixel's going to play. Play with it like this. Oh, look at this cat. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my gosh. It's very rare. This is so cute. You're like the cutest. And I love the fact you can grab the ladder at any time. <laughs> so that would have so been cute. done by a ball. Yeah. Um, and the ladder is the second player. He's like a wrist rest for you. He's like yeah. resting, resting his wrist on Cat. the back. Cat rest. Yeah. That is adorable. It's it got to be good luck. Yeah. So far. Oh, I got stuck there. Yeah. I couldn't go to the left. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like down one. The D train 27. Cats like guitar too. I can't duplicate it. I kept getting stuck in there for some reason <laughs> when I was playing last time. But you saw yeah. it was kind of one kind pixel of, below. Yeah, kind of stuck on the ledge. I don't know how it happened. You'll have to review the review the tape. Review, review the tape. Review the footage. Okay, no free lives there? <laughs> yep. See if I can keep all my lives. These are the troubles. Oh, oh careful! Tiny. Hate those guys. Don't forget your heart. Because they move. Oh, I won't forget that. I need that badly. Oh, that, that feels so tight. <laughs> it is. It's like you could just barely make it while running. Yeah. I cannot believe Pixel is sitting. It's still sitting there. Uh, it's still been pretty new that we've been home, so they're still That's kind true. of affectionate. They are affectionate. They get so really um, for a week and a half. really sweet when we've been away for a little bit. And, you know, as it turned out, Darcy was taking care of them while we were gone, so... so they weren't, uh, they weren't unhappy while no, we were away. No, no, no. Hey, this is the one I usually have trouble with. Yeah, me too. There's something about jumping on his head that's, that's awkward He's there. also blocked a bit. Yeah. So, so you can't jump on him anywhere. Yeah, that's true. I like these smashy, uh... Oh, they're beautiful. Smashy weights coming down. Oh, thanks for the link, Arena Foot, mm -hmm. so people can download this as well. This is available in the Atari Age forums, so you can do some bug testing before it gets uh, put on cart. And this is a definite must-buy. I love platformers, and this is uh, one of the better ones, one of the best ones for the 2600. It's because of the variety. Well, 
feel like there's a platformer theme going on the last couple of days because we got the Switch. You were playing Cave Story, which yep. is pretty much platformer. Oh, it is. RPG platformer. And then we were playing... Platformer shooter. Uh, yeah. No bullets in this. Oh, no. Is there bullets? I think bullets do come later. Mm. Or is that Peril? And then the... Whatever that is. Mario U or whatever that... Um... <gasps> Yeah, a lot of platform games. That was a double hit. The double hits seem to work really well. Yep, I love platformers. Really fun. Not, it's not an accident that we've been playing <laughs> We're platformers. We're playing this one, yeah. And, and the oh, last few days. New. Yeah. But, but most, a lot of my games are platformers that I buy. Or shooters. Mm. You like I bullet hell games too. I don't know. I like mm. shooters. Mm. Bullet hell I have a lot of trouble with. Yeah, so you did that while I didn't run and jump. Is there a heart over on this side? No. That'd be a good place to put one. <laughs> because you wouldn't notice it, right? Yeah. Hooray! Good Still job. four lives. Hooray! Good job. Maybe we'll see new screens. Anybody be keeping count of the screens? Not the screens, no. Scores, yes. Yeah, you do get um, extra bonus for how long you take. On each screen. Mm. So if you do it fast, you get more. Yeah. It's hard to tell because you've always made made it a couple of screens further than I have. So. Yay! <gasps> Yay another heart! Yay! I definitely needed that. So. Excellent. The furthest I've been. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! Look at that thing. So. That one is that black one in the middle. Yeah. Is uh, missile zero. I'm always saying our player is player zero. It's Miss L zero. Miss L zero. And the top one is player one. And that would be uh, Miss L one. Because it's the same color. And you see it flashes the same color. The same mm. color. It doesn't have to be the same color because they're on different lines. Okay, so I have to get through this. Mm. Well, that's not too bad. This one is very fast. Mm. Slide. Oh. Oh, Sliding you can usually make helps. It. Oh my god. Can I run across that? I think I can. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh that's you a, do have a ledge there. It's a fast platform, though. I have to time that perfectly. Ooh, good job. I don't think I would have gotten that the first time. I would have. These are new. I haven't seen these levels before. Ah, so either I died cool. before getting here or he. You didn't have done extra them. levels, yeah. Okay, and the thing is that they stop, so they're not, if they're constantly rotating, that'll be fine, because you could just jump up and avoid them, well, but you can't jump up and avoid them, you have to get all the way across, can I go half I the screen? I too bad. You think I can jump half the screen? Yeah, I bet you can. Okay. Oh. Nope, there's a ceiling. Uh... Ooh, you just have to be quick. Oh my god. Or maybe you can go from the middle over? Oh! E middle is right to the yes. end, do you think? No, there's... Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Oh. Ah! The eye is the ball. It is the ball. Yeah, I guess it could be because the background's black as well. The ball yeah. got the playfield color default, yeah. Skeletor will come out through Atari Age? I bet it will. I'm sure I would love to have this game. Mm -hmm. um, Want to keep going? or? I'll try one more time. Let's see if we get a little further. Yeah. The Agony of Defeat. I don't know how close I am to the end, though. Because I would like to complete this game. To stop making stupid mistakes. Didn't make too many stupid mistakes that time, though. They're mostly on enemies like this. 
But yeah, they, yeah. The, the timing is a little bit trickier with the enemies, I think. Get it. Get it. Oh, so close. I hate that thing. Oh! It's too early. Too early in the game to die like that. No. Pixel! Pixel! Here. Here. He's, he's here for trouble. Where's Atari? Oh, Atari! Is in the hallway? Atari! Almost died there. Your audience awaits you, Atari! toy is it? It's a fluffy mouse. Oh. Captured and killed it? Yeah, did you get this? No, no, he doesn't <laughs> want to stay. <laughs> not today. Sorry. Not. I'm just not feeling it. Not feeling it. Oh, he caught a different cat. Yeah. A different cat. A black and white cat. Yay! Nice to have easy levels once in a while. Oh, too high. Oh no! Oh, so close! That was a close save. <laughs> Yeah, I find that 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 lightning is that's tight. That's that like very really tight. really close. Yeah, the game balance for this game is really really good. It's yeah. not impossible. No. Nothing's really really it's, hard. It's, it's, it's challenging, but not like really hard. I uh, like there's guy. something frustrating about a game that's too hard right off the get go. It takes a long kind of learning process. This one you can kind of get into right away. Ah! Oh no! Good job. Three hits, four hits. An easy game's a boring game. This exactly. looks Exactly. Yeah, this, this is, is this not is, boring. This is right where it should be. And and because every level is so different, it does you don't get really bored of it, even if you're starting it over again from scratch. You do want to go further though. Yeah, the cat's got some new toys. <laughs> cat's got some new toys too. I find these guys challenging. I think I could jump. You're good at the from double the jump. Middle yeah. To the last one on that thing I died on, or thing that I had challenged. Well, that is where I died, right? Tony's being very cautious right now. <laughs> Why are you being so cautious? He's like, hmm. I don't trust cuddle. you guys. You guys are trouble. I think I died once so far. Yeah, uh, on yeah. the on the first boss. Yeah. It's good because I need my lives for this stupid stuff. Oh. Hate it. Yeah, that green guy's definitely faster. Ooh, good job. Yay. Even better. Woo. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes you can recover. Yeah. Those yeah, ropes are very thin. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the ball. I mean, it could be the, the missile. Okay. That's not too bad, actually. There's a bit of room there. This? No. Oh, some screen shutter there. Yeah. Some line line issues. I think it hit the ceiling. Yeah. GHZC. Or when you hit the bottom or something, yeah. Yeah, so test out that screen, because there's some jitter, some line count issues. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What's up with these? These two are funny. Apparently it, they like the, uh, the feathers on the, uh, the mouse. <laughs> That's what are like you feathers. doing? What are you doing? So here's where I died. <laughs> So the theory is that block is low enough that I can jump to the other edge. Don't try it more than once. Yes. 
Ooh, Ooh. just right. I love the color. Yeah, that's nice. That's it's almost like a fluorescent red. It's like pink. I don't know if that's our screen, Pinky but red. it looks really good. It does. That's yeah, nice it looks color. it looks a bit more toned down on the on the there, but yeah. no, but it's it, it it's really nice and bright. I like it. You know what? There's a nice contrast between. Awesome. <gasps> no, oh my god! You can't do that. I gotta get up here. No, you. you oh. Now I have to get all the way over to that side, or jump it. I think I have to jump it first. Oh. Damn it! You have to get over there really quickly. Okay. Oh. oh. The safe zone is up here. Yeah, and left. up on the left too. And then there is no safe zone you anymore. You have to get to him, I guess. Do you have to jump on him? Yeah, for sure. Mm. So I think I have to get up there and then yeah. jump over one and then jump him. RC70, they're right to be suspicious of a mouse with feathers, I agree. Some kind of weird genetically modified mouse. Damn it! Ooh. And then uh, it's like a new color was invented. Don't see that every day. I agree. <gasps> you stuck. Oh, no. You definitely got stuck. I got stuck You kind there. of froze on that oh. corner. In that case? <laughs> Is he licking you? <laughs> oh, he says, I'm so sorry you lost that level. I'm so sorry. Yeah, lick, lick, lick. Uh, I wanted, I wanted salmon. That's the color. <laughs> <laughs> Arg the suspense. Uh, one more. Should I do one more? Audience, should I do one more? Yes. <laughs> Arena Foot says yeah. I don't know. Maybe he was responding to something else. There's a bit of lag between. <laughs> I say give it another shot. So you RC70 can, uh... says sure. One more. Just yeah. one more person says sure and I'll do one more game. Because <laughs> I think I can make it. Uh... Yes, it is an intense, intense game. I think you need to beat the Donkey Kong at the end there, so... <laughs> at least, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, yep. we're going for it. Good job. We are going for it. Because I did even better that time with more lives. At the end. So I got stuck there again. What is, yeah. what is it? Sticky corners. Yeah. Mm. I got stuck where I was almost on the platform, but I couldn't go to the left. Mm. And I wasn't falling either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was... I definitely saw I that. I can't replicate it. No. It's a very edge case, apparently. Ooh. Get him. Yeah. I feel like you just, it's like you're walking <laughs> over the blue brick as you're getting across. It's crazy. No. of the nemesis of this game for me. It's so hard. It's terrible. Two lives on that. I need them! It's being antisocial. One pixel off there. What's wrong? Why are you being so silly? Just not feeling it. Yeah, I shouldn't harass you. I know. Pixel was attacking him earlier, so I think he's kind of staying away from Pixel. Oh, damn it. Sorry. I should be paying attention. So was harassing him? Pixel was. Yeah. Three. 
Oh, three lives. Terrible, 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 terrible. I need them all for that Donkey Kong dude. Gingerbread man guy. <laughs> he looks like Donkey Kong to me. The re repeat register is a real strength on the 2600. It is. It allows you to do those three fires with one character. And if you're quick enough, you can change the graphics on the second one and change the graphics on the third one so that they're three s distinct things. See, he's moving all three at once. Yeah. That's drawn by the same same thing. It's just, same a, thing. Yeah. just, just a bit you switch to be single, do double, or triple. That's, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it allowed for so much. These small little things that they put into the 2600 that they probably that didn't even think that would be so, so useful. So useful. Yeah. And yeah. it extended the life so much of this system. Again, another color I'm totally digging is this teal, this teal, teal ninja on the top. Yeah, that's that's like this orangey. It's yeah, an I orangey have left it red. On the so cool. Yeah, it's not quite red. It's a little bit, a little bit lighter than red. Oh, there it yeah. is again. I hit the side. You hit not the, the side as you were coming up. Yeah. Oh, so close. Neon without harmful gases. <laughs> That's right. It's neon harmful, probably. <sighs> Inhaling it? I don't isn't know. It, isn't it a. Um, what do I want to say? Heavy gas? No, no, neon's a um, <laughs> non reactive gas. Oh, to what? In the periodic table. Bad. Bad. A light? A light. No? No. Oh my god, it's been, it hasn't been that long since I've taken chemistry. Okay, we're back to... Okay, Donkey Kong! Gingerbread. Noble, thank you! Thank you, the D-Train. Like, what is the word? <laughs> it hasn't been that long. So I have two tries at this guy. Yeah! Woo! Whoa! Oh. Nice! Dragon! Nice! Very nice! Beautiful use because um, on the 2600, it's the width is the limiting factor. You have eight, mm. eight pixels. But vertically, you can draw them from top to bottom of the screen. So he's done a vertical dragon. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, getting your bum out of the way. Come on. Play with this. Throw it out. He's like, no. No. <laughs> I want to cause trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I've already identified like three tattoos I think I want to get now. <laughs> Including the neon the neon fireball. Uh, the wonderful Ooh, vertical underwater. dragon. Oh, nice. Another good use of verticality. And also they don't cross nice. over. So they're done separately. So are, is it, is it just seaweed that would, that you would get enmeshed in or are they like, um, uh, octopus, sure. octopus limbs oh. kind of could be one or the other. I love the green, the green, the, it's got like a fluorescent green going. The colors are what? so no good. Ducks? <laughs> no, real dragons, not ducks. And I bet that's a follow, a following eye again yeah. at the top. That's so fast. Tentacles. How am I going to get through that? Octopus tentacles. I kind of like. I kind of like it being the um, the horrible seaweed that catches your feet when you're at the beach. But <laughs> that is about the height of the guy. How am I going to make it through that? I'm going to die. Green yeah. cyclops teeth. Let's yeah, see how. Oh, oh, okay. <gasps> oh, cool. Good. I don't. Do sink. you have to breathe? No. Because if oh, I. Oh, you have to be very precise. Cat has to stop doing that. Can you move the cat? <laughs> Why are you being so bad? Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, it's not too bad. 
looks nice. worse than it is. Let's see how it hops out. Oh, it's so awesome! Way to go! Don't touch the uh, green oh. cyclops teeth. Well, it's hard to hop out of the water. Is is that... Or do you keep swimming to the right? No. No. It's that dad game again. All over again. That wheelchair dad game. Whatever it is. Uh oh. Oh! oh. <gasps> Caught on the edge! Well, it's actually a good thing that yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> that is hard. Maybe make it a little easier to get out of the water. <laughs> that is difficult. Oh my god. Okay. Slow moving. Okay, that's not too bad. Beautiful. Go. Just take this one slow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Gorgeous looking. Now they're using the... Come on. <laughs> it's it's like James is getting far in the game. Yeah, and the cat is no annoying me more. <laughs> Loves. So whoever liked that pixel jumping on the equipment is going to love this shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all about the cats. Ah, I'm turn not off that. Oh. oh, oh. It's a timer. It's a timer. Never See how mind. long it is first. Well, just long enough to run. Like that. Run and slide. Mm, slide isn't faster. Really? But I'll slide anyway. There you go. Um, pretty good amount of time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. two lightning bolts. Uh, you have to time them so precisely. Yep. This one not too bad. Oh, oh, so I'm not even at... Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Fish! <laughs> Very cool. So he's really using the the vertical yeah. to huge advantage in this game. So what have we got here? I'm not quite sure what those are. I thought they were fish. like a fluorescent fish. ghosts, but they yeah, they must be fish. Fish going through a tube. Not a merman or a... going through a tube. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. I have to jump up and hit that button. <gasps> oh. Wow. Nice! This is a gorgeous game. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it is beautiful. Oh, okay. Okay. I have to get over there. Sharks. Yes, sharks. Oh, yeah. Could be sharks. Yeah, I was trying to figure out the flat head. Cool. Green for Yeah, fluorescent. definitely good. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, the D Train 37. Had played this in 1981, my head would have exploded. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yes. Pretty awesome. Okay, that guy's fast. Do you kill him or do you... Oh, yeah. yeah, you have to, I guess. Oh, he is fast. Nice. <sighs> Still maintaining Good my job. two lives. Oh. oh, we're in the second part of this. At least I don't have to jump. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Just get over that. And the ropeies. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, hmm. Shoot Ooh. Okay. I kill him, I'm, I'm gonna guess. Jump the bullets and kill him. These bullets are slow. Let me stand still. <laughs> oh, another guy. Oh, that's harder. That one is a lot harder. I have to jump right onto his head. Maybe? Yeah. Yep. Oh, another one. They keep coming. Wow. This one's shooting faster. Ooh. Oh, you, oh, it did go right back to the beginning. <sighs> no, no, it didn't. That's good. Kill them all. Oh, my goodness. More guys. I only have one life left. This feels like a boss level. Mm, yeah, it's going to be a big boss. Oh. Nice. Oh, you need some hearts. I do. Oh, the key again. <laughs> it looks almost the same. Nope. Oh, oh, my good. Jumping slime thing. Funny. There's Is that a, a button? Button? Ah. Oh, a switch. Wow. Neat. That's really cool. Ooh. So, am I safe then, I guess? Guy's pretty slow. Yeah, same speed, speed as me. Okay, 
just looked really dangerous. Nope, nothing up there. Oh, no! Okay. So it goes that way, back, back. Jump, jump. jump. Yeah. That's what you have to do. Oh. oh, no! Oh. Okay, they're patterned. It's okay. Get through them a couple times though. Yeah. Oh. Now I have to go through it all again. Mm -hmm. Backwards. Backwards. <sighs> At least I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely makes it a little easier. Looking forward to this. Oh, but it's actually easier. Or not? No, it's about the same time. Ooh. This <sighs> feels so tight. Oh, that's this much harder. harder. Ooh, boy. What? Ooh, okay. You're right. going to have to jump him, I think. Yep. When he's low, though. <sighs> One heart. Ooh. Right there. Oh. I had to look for when he was low on the ground. Yeah. Carefully don't hit it accidentally. All right. Come on, heart. Please, a heart somewhere. Just want one for safety. Been on one heart for like 30 levels. Oh, he's Ooh. brought these back. These were on a much earlier level before. Were they? Yeah. Mm. Were they challenging? Um... You have to jump on the heads of them mm. before. Oh, you do have to jump on the heads of that one at least. Mm. Okay, jump, jump, okay. Not bad. Just no. kill the top one, he says. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. Hearts, uh, nice. VH said, see, are there any hidden hearts anywhere? <laughs> I just need one for safety. Oh, oh no. Nice. Beautiful. That's awesome. I bet oh, it moves. moves. <gasps> oh no. What is the pattern here? Maybe it kinda no pattern. He kind of moves over a little bit once and after it resets. <gasps> he follows you! Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was awesome. So 5920. Pretty uh, darn good. Yeah, it is. Pretty darn good. How many how many stages did we get through? No one was I don't know. No one just count. counting. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Un incredible. I wish I made it to the end, but I uh, needed one more life at least. I don't even know how I would have gone by that. He goes right to you and just grabs you. That's like straight out of Joust. Those little yeah. flaming hands yeah. that bring your guy down. Yeah. I must say, that is... That is an incredible game, VHZC. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I got it to the end. Yeah, marathon can candidate, for sure. Uh, there is a room with three extra hearts. Oh, no! After? <laughs> oh, it's probably before the, before the boss. Right before the boss. Maybe, yeah. Or so right after. Maybe I got really close to that. I don't know. Ha very, very good. That was so cool with the yeah, hand. Marathon yeah, marathon candidate, for sure. That'll be a good and one. two more hidden in a regular room. Oh. Did I miss them? Damn it. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Great game to bring to uh, come back with. Um, so the next game is what is the next game? Uh, Pilot X. So let me get that queued up. Now this is a game that I just found out about recently from Thomas Yentz. Um, that never heard of um and he pointed out two games that we're going to be playing to get today pilot x and mm. the last game as well which is hugo hunt so i found out about them at the same time and hugo hunt is um actually in the running because it was released in 2019 mm. so it's out for on the list on the list for the nominees nomin it's, it's not a nominee well yet. for nominees for being nominated yeah, yeah. 
Pilot X. Now, this is. Oh, just switched over. Let's just start that up again so you guys can see it. There we go. Now, this is a, a port of an Atari 8 bit game, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, let's actually take a look at the uh, where it came from. So let me get that queued up. Pilot X Atari, I'm gonna guess. Nope. Pilot X game. Nope. I'm gonna look on his website. I know it is, um, maybe this isn't the game. Oh, there it is. Pilot X 1987 for the C16. Mm -hmm. Okay, C16, there we go. Uh, is there no video of it? C16 slash plus four. Well, if there's no video of it, then I guess, oh, no. Commodore 16. Commodore Plus. No. Oh, well. There's a photo of it. <laughs> That's not <laughs> <There's> helpful. <laughs> a, a very helpful looking photo, so we won't look at it. So we'll just play it. So I'll hand it over to you. Okay. Play it first while I read through the How do I German play? instructions. <laughs> German. Mm. But I've got it translated. Google has helped out. Google can be helpful sometimes. So navigate through the uh, descending maze oh my goodness so this is by angelsoft uh this was put out in february 2014 it's a 4k game oh keep going goodness. holy smokes uh, you have to... it's only made two games hugo hunt and pilot x um you can download this from the angelsoft website we've never played it before it's yeah you will have to do that later Not now. oh when you sorry I'm, 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 I'm just kind of feeling my way through oh yeah and so let's sense. go to the translation of the website. Oh my goodness, I can't move fast enough. <laughs> you have to anticipate it and go right away. Okay. It says Downport Pilot X. Downport? Oh, a Downport, a D-Make kind of thing. Uh, this game has already been under its belt for a few decades. Pilot X was released in 1987 by Kingsoft for the C16 Plus 4. The task is to maneuver in a cave system with a spaceship. There are some situations where the cave opening is smaller oh than the spaceship. So what to do? Well, without further ado, the ship is broken down into three components, each maneuvered individually through the caves. A maximum of concentration is required for this. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> of course, as the game progresses, it becomes increasingly difficult to cross cave passages. The goal of the game is to reach the cave floor, where a second ship is already waiting. Would it be possible to port this game to the legendary Atari 2600 video game console? While the Commodore C16 is a real home computer, already has a screen memory of 1000 bytes for text characters and 8K for graphics, the Atari system has only 20 bits. Due to the small memory space, the program has to update the register for the game graphics uh, display in each line during the image construction and count meticulously the few available CPU cycles so that the game objects and backgrounds are display displayed correctly. The game logic itself can essentially only be calculated in vertical <laughs> blanking interval. Even displaying the score becomes a challenge. Memory is also in short supply. 128 bytes of RAM are available and a simple game cartridge has 4K of ROM. It looks very different with the C16. 16K RAM and even more ROM, but unfortunately no sprites. After all, uh, the Atari has two pieces, pieces, each 8 bits wide, two single bit missile objects, and a similar ball. Uh, the latter was obviously intended for sports games. But you can also vary the width and number of copies of these objects and create something like multicolor sprites by changing the color per raster line. The challenge of game programming with this system architecture can be found in the much cited book Racing the Beam. If you haven't read that book and you're watching this show, definitely reach, uh, read the book Racing the Beam. Get there, get further. <laughs> uh, so let's go. Pilot X should be ported. So, okay, so he goes on to talk about how he 
uh, made the game. Um, talking about the maze data and how we encoded the maze data. It's actually quite interesting. So if you are interested in programming, I would definitely check out the website, um, AngelSoft. AngelSoft, is that it? Angel-soft.de. It's in German, but you can, uh, Google Translate does an excellent job. Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting to read out on the show. Uh, the labyrinth data had to be compressed. Ah. Since 40 pixels per line or only 6 bytes are required, 18 pixels are provided in the Y direction, blah blah blah. Uh, in the end it worked. Pilot X runs on the Atari 2600 on a, a now rare tube TV. The number of lines is not always correct, so one or the other screen has minor synchronization errors, but the game can be played well. Whether it's more difficult or easier, on the original C60, opinions differ. Terrible. My turn. This is not going well. <laughs> Let me just finish. Okay. Finish this game. Greed looks a bit frustrating. It is. It looks like it's Caverns very, of Mars. Very, 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 very it sensitive. It does look like Caverns of Mars, and the description going down to the bottom to get another ship and going back. Didn't say anything about going back up, but no, very maybe. similar to Caverns of Mars. Let's keep going. Yeah, but, but... Always watch your leading edge. Oh, I am. Not the back edge. <laughs> <laughs> not looking at the back edge. Okay, give it to me. Yeah, sorry. I forgot that. Restarted, so that's okay. Yeah. It's very, very sensitive. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You can split the ship, but not yet. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. You have to be very precise. Oh! Yeah, you have to be very precise. Probably do better at it, but... Uh, Let's see. Than I did, but... Oh, uh, you get three ships, but yeah. there's no checkpoints? So this is one. That's a checkpoint? No. Oh! No, there are no checkpoints. Not yet, at least. Probably. You probably have to, be. What's have the point to of get having more than a few pixels down the screen <laughs> to, to hit a checkpoint, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It is very sensitive. Oh, yeah. my God! Yeah. He's making fun of me <laughs> as I'm playing, and it's like, just wait, just wait. Yeah. Your score does continue, so... It that, does I guess continue that's the over, point your, three? over your three lives, yeah. Oh, it, it is It is pretty precise. It's possible. Ah! Oh, yeah, I told you. like a tiny pixel. Yeah. It's like one pixel, and then boom, you're dead, so... Everything's so chunky and big. Mm -hmm. Everything's like... Like double size. <laughs> RC seventy new record. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, it is. Oh! I know you have to keep moving. It's crazy. You have to anticipate it where it's going, which is is really hard to do. Game first for experts only. Oh my god! <laughs> it it's is frustrating. The cavern is the width of your ship. Mm -hmm. Maybe one extra chunk. I don't know. You can't call them pixels. It's too jagged. It's too jagged. Yeah, oh, I see. I no, did this too. You have to go. You have to, to, go, right. to go to the right. That's oh. as far as I got the last time. Okay. <laughs> or or the last my 18. best effort. Yeah. Is that my record? Yep. Oof. Oof. I know you have to keep moving. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my God. This is a hard game. Oh, I'm watching. My turn. Uh, so frustrating. Yes, it is. Couldn't they make the cavern just like one thing wider? Like at least the beginning? Like it just throws you right in the deep end. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Damn you, Angel Soft. Damn you. It's hard to say whether to watch one side or the other. I think you have to watch, dangerous. as you say, you have to watch the leading edge. But it's yeah. hard because you you kind of freak out and go, oh, I'm going too far. VH said, C says, now Ninja Sky doesn't look so hard, right? No, never looked that hard. <laughs> this, this, this is ah! Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. The leading edge also changes. Yeah. Yeah. They both change like, oh, it's so hard. 
Oh, and if you hesitate and go back, it actually jumps Done. backwards. Done. Oh, man. It's the kind of game that is extremely frustrating, <laughs> and yet at the same time, you, you really want to keep playing it because you don't get very far. <laughs> no, you don't. It's like, oh, come on, I can get a few more pixels down the, <laughs> down the caffer. Oh, too fast. Maybe it's this controller. It looks like a, a Nintendo game. You know on Nintendo games on the right hand side there's always this flicker of it drawing things. You can see that on the bottom of the screen. It's very interesting. So there's a bit of bit of a bug there in the drawing routine where it kind of draws something but doesn't. It's like Dragster Caverns of Mars mashup. This would be a real quarter eater. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. think people would give up. I don't know. Well, there's always someone who doesn't give up. That's true. Oh, see if you pause for a second. <laughs> I swear. All right. But it You're... does make you want to play it, though. It Can you does. get me more water, please? Yeah, more water? Yeah, sure, sure. It's not what I was so going for. So thirsty. But I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> the same six seconds. Is there an easier level? It didn't say anything about it. No. You can't even restart once you've started the game. It's nothing. Nothing to do. Oh! Can't imagine when you have to split your ship how difficult that's going to be. Watching like three things at once. Okay, let's get down this. Hooray! Don't shoot me. Oh, is it splitting time? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> I made it. Okay. Mmm, water's cold. Yeah, yeah, not easy. At least I made it to the splitting ship part, so we can actually see it in action. Uh, yes, holy shit indeed. Oh my god. If you want a challenge, if you think you're up for it, this is the game. It is precise. Okay, this is a split. Oh, I'm too early! Oh! I was trying to figure out which, which direction splits, and then I did it. Way too early. Ah, okay, come on, let's do this. There's a funny little strip in the middle of the ship. I wasn't going to get another beer, but if we're playing this game for any longer... <laughs> You're going to need it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh! I made it way further than that. <gasps> Did you? Oh, I missed yeah. that. Good job. Getting used to the controls. Oh! Damn it! Oh. I made it to that other thing and then died there. Oh, the like time. towards the second split. The second split? Yeah, there's another split really? right after that one. Really? Wow. Getting better, more consistent. Well, would you? Dying. I think it's kind of Oops. getting a feel. Damn it! Yeah, it went the wrong way. Getting a feel for the controls. <sighs> a game for playing sensitive. while you drink for sure. Yeah. <laughs> And there's memorization because you can't play that game without knowing you have to go to the right. Yeah. <sighs> Good job. Now I don't know what's coming up, and I'm probably going to die. Oh, I, Faster? What is no. happening? Is it fish? Fish. <laughs> oh. I'm done. Started over? Checkpoint. Yeah. And maybe, but I do uh, my last guy. Life. I'm not even gonna make it through the first cavern, 5 so. 95. You can do it. Oh. You could do it. I'll play once more after this. Jesus, but. I can't get through that the first turn. So frustratingly hard. It is. It's like you hesitate and it, it cannot hesitate. I you know. don't have time to readjust. 
Yeah, if you want a challenge, a hard challenge, play this game. Yeah, the restarting is moving the joystick, which is really interesting. Yeah. Because it doesn't Pushing use downwards. the button at all. You'd think they'd make it the button, but it's not. Nothing's the button. Oof. Good job. Good job. Oh, oh no! <laughs> so close. Oh no! And you're back at the beginning. So hopefully that's a checkpoint. It does look like a checkpoint. It does. And then if I can make it on my first life, maybe we can see oh, we can see some more stuff. Because I just need it. It was a very precise split after that. Very challenging. Yeah, you can't stop. You, you know what it is? Is I'm looking at the right edge, and yeah. there's a there's a straight part, and so you think, oh, I need to stop, but actually no, you just need to keep going. Two seventy seven for ten. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's that type of game. Two seventy-seven, my ass. <laughs> Five ninety-five for James. So close. So, is this the checkpoint? Yep, made a sound. But it's the checkpoint. Is it? Or is it just, oh, you made it to level two. <laughs> yeah. And it, you die, you're going to start right back at the beginning anyway. Damn it. Let's see where you start. Okay. Checkpoint? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Good. Yeah. It's a cool fish. You kind of have to move it and separate it at the same time, which is impossible, actually. You can't. You just have to do it really fast. You can't do both actions at the same time. Not easily. You have to separate. Yeah, and then you have to move. Oh my god. Okay, you don't readjust. No, that. don't readjust. Just move. You're going to start from the beginning, though. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. We've got this pretty good now. This part. Uh, that's pretty nice, I have to say. <laughs> Oops. Almost went to the left. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Oof. What? Was I too spaced I don't apart? Know. Uh. Maybe you moved over to the right a little too fast. Mm, maybe. It's very so slight. It is. I tried to separate, but it didn't do it. It moved instead. <sighs> What is happening? No, you, you hit on the sides. You weren't for far enough apart. Far enough your apart? Ball, you get the okay. bollies on the end. Okay. Yeah. I think your center hit a bit. Yeah. Mmm. Because you have to watch three things at once. When yeah. You, it's so hard. I'm enjoying it a bit more now that... Well, uh, <laughs> You're getting past the I first can get turn. Past the first yeah. point. You can't even restart. <laughs> There's nothing to restart. You have to reload the game if you die. like that where it scrolls up the uh, title yeah, of the screen. No, I do like that. On your first go. Oh my attention. god. That is correct. <laughs> Just 
stressed? Stressed? So stressful this game. <laughs> so unbelievably stressful. Oh, you hit on the right. What part? My the right, ship or the, the ball? ball. On the right hand side? Yeah, of the ball? you needed them up maybe touch oh another pixel wider maybe? Wider? I don't know. No, or you needed to right. shift over, but anyway. If I hit on the right really hard. Why does that keep popping up? It needs to be disabled. I don't know why. It just Damn it. There, th there was an update. That's I don't know what's going on. Big fish. No. What happened? You hit on the right again. The right of what? The ball? The ball. The, so the ball on the right side, the little pointed end, hit as you went down. The so left hand side of the ball? Or the, the left right hand, hand side? side of the ball on the right. Oh, I thought hit. you were saying the right hand side no, of the right ball. The right ball on the left hand side where the point is hit as you came down. It needed to be like a further pixel apart. further apart, or you needed to be paying attention and, you know, like okay. slide over one. But Interior. That's a better word. Interior, sorry. thank you. Interior. Yeah. Side of the right, of the right hand, hand ball. ball. Okay, so yeah. you need to be further. The balls need to be further apart? Maybe. Maybe. Don't want you to trust me too much on that one because <laughs> it's a little hard until you try it to see if that's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> this game appeals to the masochist within. <laughs> yeah, if you're one of those people... Ah! If you're one of those people that does things just purely out of principle because you want to beat it, then you will play this game for hours. So. I do. Yeah. To beat it. Stop it. I do, but I don't want to do it with everyone watching. <laughs> Well, that's 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 my issue is <laughs> when I get really frustrated. That's the name of this game. Uh, winning it would feel so good though. Yes. Oh my god, yeah. I don't think yeah. I'm anywhere near it. The ga game can't be that short. It's just it's probably really long. <laughs> just really hard. It's the last time I'm playing. Because it's so hard and annoying. Oh. Way too far. Because I'm like going, oh, I have to be really far apart. Yeah, no, it's... You have like limited tough. time to do it. Do you move? Do you split first? <laughs> I don't know. Winning it would feel so good. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh -huh. And when you're 12 hours in and haven't eaten for like, haven't eaten a meal that day, then yeah, it'll feel really good. Okay, mm I'm done. Are you playing again? <sighs> it depends. You want to end on a high note or a low note? <laughs> I don't know. I'll play the next no, game then. I'll play the next okay. game. Okay. Uh, good game? <laughs> it's hard. It's super challenging. It's well made. See, this is the kind of game I want to come back. I want to play five hours for it. And when we have the next marathon, like show off skill because you played it so much. Yeah. Although you would probably die in the first turn on the first cavern if that's what happened. But um, yeah. yeah, no, I don't want to. I don't want to yell obscenities at the screen for the next two hours. So. <laughs> okay. Just the next game it. is Snowflakes 2019. Um, Snow. Flakes. There we are. Switch over. So this is an update to a game we have played last year, Snow the Flakes 2018. Have to go is it's almost, almost 1 a.m. here. Oh. oh, well, thanks for sticking around. VHZC. Yes. Loved, wonderful. Loved wonderful your game. game. Hopefully you can be here on Wednesday when we'll be playing Peril. His, his next game will have an exclusive debut nice. of the new revamped version of Peril. Nice. Um, so everybody come back and hopefully VHZC will be back as well to help us out. <laughs> uh, so this is made by lolq64, L-O-L-K-I-U-6-4, uh, if that's how you pronounce it. So this, uh, this version was originally posted, uh, December 31st, 2019. Um, this build is from the same date, um... His other games are Snowflakes, Snowflakes 2018, Snowflakes 2019. Down is fast, left and right is... Uh, what is happening? I don't know, I need to put my feet up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> my fluffy, fluffy cat Oh, they feet. can't see it. 
Thank God. Okay. Seven points. So left and right slow, down and left and right is fast. Down. So you can download this. It's available in the Atari H forum. Uh, we last played the 2018 Ooh, version on uh, January 9th, 2019. So let's read about this game. It's almost 11. Oh, it's almost eight here. So we're on West Coast time. Said this will be the last Snowflakes game to be made with Batari Basic. So does that mean he's going to be making it in assembly next, or is he going to, not going to be making this game anymore? You could think of this as a trilogy coming to an end or something. <laughs> well, it may not be as big of a jump uh, as 2017 to 2018. There are five new additions that make this really stand out. One proper night transition. The playfield and sprites kept the same brightness, no matter how far you got. Also, phase four is no longer an ugly gray, gray background. Two, faster speed for joystick players. Phase four and five became impossible for joystick players, since there's no way to reach the other side of the screen in time. Now simply hold down the joystick and you go twice as fast. This um, is really meant to be played on a paddle, but we don't have a paddle to PC converter right now. You can't use that Retron one you just got? No, that's a DB9. DB9. I, I, I would no need idea. a USB adapter. And oh, then I, I don't know if it works. Ah! Oh. That was going really well. <laughs> Very down. Sound effects. There's no way James would let me get away with that three times in a row. <laughs> Last time he didn't have sound effects. Oh. And I chastised him for it. Uh. It's like, there's no sound at all in this game. <clears throat> so he added... Uh, death sound and a little snowflake yeah. catching sound. The death sound's pretty <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> if you don't feel bad for losing, you will once the death sound is over. <laughs> yeah. Use a mouse. Yeah. Um, we'll try with a mouse in a second. A we'll see if it fun. works. I mean, it does work, but whether it works better with a mouse or it just kind of does a bad job. Because I've tried to use a mouse um, with paddle games. And it, eh, it's not quite the same. Ooh. I'm moving a little too fast sometimes. Uh, and what else do you change? Custom settings. Change the color of your sled with the select switch. Oh. And choose whether you want the igloo present during the gameplay with the reset switch. So we'll, uh, we'll check out the colors on the next game. Mm -hmm. New challenge mode. Replacing two broken snowflakes difficulty mo mode. Now you're catching snowflakes while also avoiding ice sheets. Uh, is that on a higher level, or do you select that? It doesn't say how to get there. Replacing the broken two snowflake difficulty mode. Hmm. Um, if you've never played a snowflakes game before, it's pretty too similar to paddle games like Kaboom. In That's fact, even though this Kaboomish. version, even though this version has improved joystick play, I stick, I stick highly recommend trying this out with a paddle. Still, he must have. He must be typing this out on the phone. <laughs> when you get the Atari uh, fix, Play definitely. Yeah, yeah, get the paddle out. Yeah, it was good with the paddle. I think we played it. I'm sure we played I it. I played it before. Did you? I, I can't remember in what context, whether it was Christmas <laughs> games or something, but yeah. yeah. I do remember it being different. Did it have the wavy snowflakes? Oh, yeah, good. Really Wavier crazy. Maybe that wavier. was a different game. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, oh it's 110. Okay. So let's check out the colors. So what color do you want? You probably want teal. Uh, oh, ooh, I like the I like the magenta. The lighter one? Yeah. And we'll go back to that. Let's see. Lots of colors. There. Yeah. Lots of colors. So there's no oh. I like this. I like the igloo. Igloo's nice. Yeah. I don't know how you get to Oh, select color black and white joystick paddle. We'll keep it on joystick. Uh, left difficulty switch, change the size of your sled. <gasps> Keep it on easy mode. You can put it on hard if you want. You can try it on hard. No. No? No. Yeah, it's fun to try. Um, sure. Yeah. There you go. That looks terrible. Good, good luck. Oh, I'm not moving. Oh no, did I switch it? Ice sheet. Okay. There are the ice, ice sheets. Is the mouse on the screen? Okay, go. Nothing? No, you didn't press, press play. Oh. Oh. oh, this is going to be fun. 
you have to press a button on the end. Three changes for the updated version. <laughs> is it fast all the time? No, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. Okay. It is fast. It is very fast. Sound frequency slightly increases with each, with each catch. Oh, does it? That's interesting. New sound for successfully dodging an ice sheet. Okay. Fix the timing issue where both objects would have the same height. Now they are perfectly spaced out. That is challenging. While it won't shock your mind or anything like that, this simple game even surprising me how much fun it was to play. Thanks for at least checking it out and have a great New Year's. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make it wide. You're having too much trouble. No, no, because this is the hard level. you got the ice sheets coming down. It is really hard. Ooh, that's really, really tough. Is there ice sheets? Is, is there ice sheets now? No. Oh, yes. there is. Hmm. Oh, I, I don't thought know that what was... brought them on. I, it doesn't... Oh, right difficulty switch. Adds the dangerous ice, ice sheets to avoid. A bear should come out of the igloo. Yes. I didn't get over fast enough. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's like you move too fast sometimes. Phase changes depending on time, not how many snowflakes you catch. First phase is 30 seconds. Next one increases by now to 30 seconds. Phase two is 60 seconds. There's no way I could have caught that snowflake because if I was under it, no, I'd, I'm just pointing out oh, okay. the ice sheet came down. The snowflake was above the ice sheet on the left-hand oh. side. So I don't think I could have gotten the ice sheet to hit and then gotten under the snowflake without hitting the ice sheet. Not with a joystick. Probably mm. with a paddle you can win really fast. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, that's pretty fun. This year, my goal is to have someone put a rampaging bear in a game. <laughs> a rampaging keep bear. asking, man. Just keep oh. asking until someone does it. <laughs> yep. Because uh, um, Frostbite is the only game I know on the Atari... Yeah, it's challenging with the ice sheets. Yeah. Actually, I think it's better with the smaller. With the ice sheets. I'm yeah, gonna I'm because. Gonna off the ice oh, still on. But I was gonna say the smaller, the what? smaller sled is better for the ice sheets because you can kind of jump past. Yeah. Oh, it's black and white. Oh no. Nope. How do you turn off the ice sheets? Difficulty B. There we go. I was just pressing the wrong buttons. The ice sheets makes it to like sets up very difficult things to accomplish with a joystick anyway. Well, I think I actually think you want the smaller sled with the ice sheets because you can maneuver around yeah, them. Yeah, um, that's true. I think it would be easier, even though it's harder to catch the snowflakes once you're used to the paddle movements. Mm. You'd probably get pretty good at it. Yeah. But um. Nice change of colors. Mm -hmm. I love the little flickery snowflakes. Oh, yeah. They're a little bit more erratic in how they fall. I'm guessing it gets more and more erratic <laughs> as time goes on. Think of how much harder it would be with a bear ram pinching after you. <laughs> <laughs> you keep working on that. You work on that bear. Well, um, he could put a bear because that igloo is made out of play field. And your catcher thing is is the only player. The other thing's... Whoa, that was close. Um, is a ball? Yeah. Definitely could be a ball. Yeah, they could definitely put a... Ask him to put a bear in his next version. In 2020. <laughs> Snowflakes. It's, it's kind of nice with just the snowflake because it just becomes sort of a meditative... It is. It's like, oh, nice, nice snowflakes. Yeah. Kind of Whoa! Like, yeah. Sound is like wind. Yeah. So there is kind of a storm going on now, blowing that snowflake around. It's very light snow. One, one flake at a time coming down. I think the bear should jump on the sled, which <laughs> slows the, the sled down. Oh boy. So maybe you have to shake the sled to shake the bear off. I oh yeah. Think. Like, yeah. Go shake, shake. Yeah. That would be cool. Pretty erratic, but not too bad yet. <laughs> With a bottle of Coke? Uh, you could. Uh, I would hope you would get some um, advertising dollars out of that, though. 
Coke did put out a video game on the Atari. Oh, yeah. Uh, called Pepsi Invaders, Coke Wins. <laughs> Very nice. Or was it Coke Invader, Pepsi Wins? Which one was it? I think you're shooting Pepsi. At the top. And it's like Space Invaders, but with the graphics changed. Which one was it? harder one and I want the smaller sled. Okay, you want the ice sheets and smaller sled. Yeah. Okay, so that's A and that's A. Okay, okay. it's going to be horrible. Move fast on that one. How do I move fast? Down. Down? Ugh, too fast. Do you have to stop? Yeah. keeps the high score. Yes. Very cool. Oh. <laughs> oh no. You should be allowed to lose more than one snowflake. Yeah, and some of these harder ones, that might be good. Like it, like your, your igloo goes down or something. And then or... the bear comes out to get you. Ha ha! <laughs> jump, 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 jump. That's, that should be the ending sequence. Oh, you got that one. That's right. Oh. oh, you have to get under it sometimes. Maybe lose one and the sled gets smaller each time until it disappears. Yeah, Ooh. that would work too. I don't like that. There's some games like that where it gets harder the worse you play. Because if the, if the sled got smaller, that makes it harder. Ah, see? What other game was it that did that? And it really drives me crazy. Yeah, it was Kaboom. Kaboom does that. As you, as you die, you lose the platforms and makes it harder shouldn't be shouldn't be harder as it gets as you die oh no it's definitely a challenging mode it is but i think you're right you do need to have the small sled yeah when you're doing the ice sheets one kaboom was a great game well designed yes yeah. i just find it so hard you you did pretty good when we were playing kaboom oh uh, yeah i played for quite a while but I <gasps> how are you supposed to get that <laughs> Come on. Or actually, here's here's a thought. Rather than you being able to miss snowflakes, I think you should be able to be hit by ice sheets. It should slow you down or something. Because that way, when you right. get things like that, where the ice sheet and the snowflake come right after each other, where yeah. you literally have to be out of the way and jump right, up, right over, it could slow you down or break your sled. Mm. And that would, that, would, that would be a good way of doing it. Yeah. And then you're not immediately dying. Because the ice sheets definitely add a level of complexity yes yeah i think you're right because every once in a while you get like that a lot and uh <laughs> and it becomes pretty challenging to get the snowflake oh, oh. Yeah. i'm also scared to go under it yeah i think that's why i'm dying a lot that is a problem yeah like that I'm not used to the fast mode. <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> See, I can't stop myself when I'm moving fast. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, bitch. I have one more try on this. We'll move on. On the hard one? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think you have better control than I oh. do. <laughs> it's the, the fast moving that's hard. Hard to control. It is, yeah. When you're going slow, it's not so bad. Well, but you when you have to dodge something... Move fast over to it and then slow down. But not you can't. try and catch it You just kind of... Fast. When you go fast, I find you just lurch right over to the other side of the screen. You have a lot less control. But that's the challenge of it, so. It oh, is. you're doing much better than me. Just made it. Just made it to the second level. Mm. Try one more. 
see if I can make it in the second. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh my god, I think I just got a good run in. That might be the case. <laughs> Bit of luck in this game. There is for that ice shield and where they're the snowflakes are coming down if they're going back and forth across the screen. The ice shield's protecting them. That makes for a very difficult. This is definitely more fun playing than watching. It's pretty tedious watching this game. Oh yeah, it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's not like um Yay! I achieved my goal. What was it? Ninja and low res world? Yeah. That's pretty fun. Ninja guy and low res. Ninja guy. Ninja. Not quite a ninja. He's just ninja. I retire on that score. <laughs> <laughs> 149. Oh, the sled is a big plastic disc. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not 149. Why isn't it displaying my score? No, because it's your highest score. But where's the score I just played? It, it, it should... shows as you play, but it doesn't show at the end. That's a problem. Oh <laughs> yeah, it should. Yeah. Because unless you're paying attention, which you're not, because yeah. you're playing. Yeah. Uh, good game. Yeah. Good, good upgrade. It's fun, and it's again, it's again, it's a nice little. Um, it's a nice little sort of meditative game. Yeah. Uh, RC seventy. I thought you hit one hundred forty nine four times in a row. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh no. No. And he said it was fifty something, but he was confused too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was confused for a second. So I scheduled this one mm -hmm. for this show mm -hmm. Hugo Hunt mm -hmm. because it's a puzzle game. <gasps> Yay, puzzle game by Angelsoft. Same guy who did the other one that frustrated us to no end. Mm -hmm. But this one is very different. <laughs> very, very different game. Um, not self-explanatory but you'll figure it out as you go. Just try and play it and I'll get to the instructions. Try now. There you go. Puzzle. Puzzle, puzzle. Make sure that Phosphor's on. Yeah, it is on. It's a flickery game. It's a flicky, flicky game. What? So, oh. this is first posted October 7th, 2016. Ah. This build is from December 2019. Um, it can, comes in 4K and 8K sizes. The 8K just has more levels. Um, this is the guy by Angelsoft. He made Hugo Hunt and Pilot X. And we played Pilot X. Um, so on October 7th, 2016, hi, just announcing a new 2600 Humber game, Hugo Hunt. It's a port of Hugo Hunt XL, written by Stefan Dorn Dorndorf. Hugo Jagged XL here. I've been porting it to the C16 Plus 4 and to the C64 lately, so this is its third port of this game. Um, you'll find a short game review here in the description of the objects Hugo will encounter. As for Stella, I couldn't manage to use a non-mirrored playfield, so I had to create new levels. Uh, which he fixed later on, I believe. Attached, you'll find a binary of the PAL game having uh, two new levels or tried online. Any comments appreciated. Now let's go to website. In contrast to the other maze games such as Pac-Man, Hugo Hunt's Labyrinth is not symmetrical. This is difficult for an implementation of the Atari 2600 since additional data has to be acquired for the second half of the Labyrinth during the line structure. Because different players... Uh, now this was translated from... What language? Uh, oh yeah, German again. Because different player positions are still required at the same time. The first decision design decision was to only allow symmetrical labyrinths and new layouts had to be created. Uh, let's see if there are instructions. No, there aren't. Okay. So from my playing of the game, Damn it. <laughs> you probably figured out most of it. The key opens those gates. Yes. That triangle thing yeah allows you to pass through one of those bowls gotcha um i'm sure that is purple because the key's there and the key's purple and not because it's anything special so you have to get one of the dots so that you can keep moving to get the key and then you get another dot on the way over there i believe yeah you 
probably need another dot. And then you open the bottom door and get that. And then go get the other dot on your way back. <laughs> no. You'll probably have enough. Can you go through those? Uh, you might be able to go through. It won't waste your time. Oh, the key opens all of them. Okay. And then go through the top bowl because you can only go through one. Yeah. Did it, did it, did it, did it took a little it. while to figure out. <laughs> I didn't realize the keys got you through everything. Ne yeah. Yeah. There's a hmm. ton of things that you could add to this game that would really make a takeoff. Like bears! <laughs> the D trains us. This one's fairly straightforward. You have to just get all the dots. And you have to get the numbers in order. In order? Yeah. So don't get the four first. You have to go get the one first. I believe running against a wall does count for a move. Yeah. And then you get a key, and you have to get two, and then three, and then four, and then get the ring, and then get the ball. Oh, you don't have to get the ball. Nope. The ring is the goal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you do have to move right away on this one. This is where I died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, how did I do this? What did I do first? I went all the way to the bottom. 940T. Thank you, Ring of Foot. Luckily, once you figure it out, you can kind of go faster. Because it's not a puzzle anymore, if you know that. Oh, no! Which one? What? what which? Uh, uh. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought you were going for the key next. But you did need to get that because you're almost out again. Um, yeah, for that third one, you have to play the game, avoid the ghost. While you're trying so you to, to navigate, really while you're not running out of power at the same time, you have to do it really fast. And that's as far as I've made it <laughs> while testing out the game. Dan AVC says, "Cute game." Very cute. Yep. Third level, it's definitely action, so be prepared. You have to start moving right away. Yep. The goal is to get the ring. Ah! And not the bulls. And not move too fast. You have fast. to get those things to get past the bulls. You have to move fast. And get the one. And get those. Yeah, you definitely have to get that. Ah, oh. too close. And game over. Want to try? Yes. Yeah. First two are pretty easy. The second one, I'm sure there's a pattern. Just have to practice the pattern. Nope. Oh, oh that's lucky. Was that the wrong? Thing nope. No, it's I did it a different way. But oh, it worked yeah, out just fine. There's a couple. Yeah. Variations. For this one, for sure. Because it gives you extra moves. Sure, there's an op optimal way of doing it. Looks like a fun puzzle game. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I don't really like the action of the third level because it's too intense right away. You definitely have to get that bowl. Um, the one. And also the thing that kills the first bull, at least. Well, you were watching the screen. For me, it's like, okay, what are you trying to get? You need the one. Didn't I move fast enough away? You need the key. 
Oh my god. So you need something to kill the bull. Yeah, you need the thing to kill the bull. What, what is happening? Oh, I'm running out of yeah. moves. That's what's happening. You need the thing to kill the bull at the top. So you need that thing. Top, okay. Yeah. No, that's not what I meant. You need, do you need to kill one of the bulls at the top? So you need- The right hand side. You need a triangle to kill one of those bulls. You have to go back and kill that bull. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's start again, Mr. Mr. Mm. Hugo. <laughs> Oops. That's what you meant. Mm. Yeah, that's much. You can do that, yeah. Better. Reminds me of what I thought the Odyssey 2 games look like. Yeah, they kind of do. I've never played an Odyssey 2, but the graphics always look like this. Kinda With a gigantic smiley face? Kind of chunky and... I don't know. I've never played an Odyssey 2. Mm. Yeah, smiley faces as well. They yeah? Odyssey 2 likes they like their smiley faces? No, no. Smiley yeah. things and numbers on screen. Numbers on screen. <laughs> Okay, before you start the next I one. I can't. It's already starting. It okay. automatically starts. You want to go over, you want to get the one, yep. and you want to get that triangle right away, and you want to go back and kill that bull at the top. Okay. One of the bulls. Get that, and that. So close. But you know what I mean. Yeah. And then, then you have to break through a bull to get to get back. Yeah. To get down to the... Um, get a thing. There you go. Go up. Kill, kill. Yeah! Oh, that's all good. We can relax. Collaborative. Oh my god. Okay, so I can't get the two, so I have to go up there, get what that are, thing, kill the bull. What are those purple things? Can you get death? them? Send death? Oh, teleporters? Because there's another smiley Ooh, face. Ooh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, or you just eat them. I don't know. So yeah, I think you have to go up, yeah. get the bull, hit that teleporter, yeah, and then see what happens. And then... Uh, it just changes over to the... So at some point... I have to go get that thing now, probably. That dot? Or no? Mm, think I should no, get that? You're okay, you'll probably go back and forth again. Probably have to kill all the teleporters, don't you think? Yeah. Kill all the teleporters. And then get the dot. Yeah, kill the teleporter. Ooh. Kill them. Am I going to be in the way of myself? Mm, no, I don't think so. Will you? No, maybe. Maybe go down, get the t get the dot, and then teleport over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. And then teleport yeah. over? Yeah, yeah. Or... So if I go, if I take the left guy... Maybe you shouldn't have done that last one. Maybe. Uh, yes, maybe. If I take the last guy, go down, use that teleport, it'll change that guy, and I'm stuck, and I have to go all the way around, which I can't. get messed up oh well do it anyway what should or I go down to the teleporter there if i go take that guy down to that teleporter it'll go over there take that guy it'll get the the last oh. mm. no i think it's okay then i then i teleport one once more it'll go to the other guy mm -hmm. it should be fine yeah i think so that's one go through the door Hmm. Now you need to teleport. <laughs> <sighs> or you have to go all the way back. But I've got the thing to go through the I bowl. I think it might be okay. Can I just finish? You need two? I don't, maybe I don't need all those things. Maybe I, I just need to go through the ring. No, you need one, two, three. Don't you? Well, I can't. Yeah, go back. Get two. All the way back? Yeah. 
You, you think you're gonna die? Look how long your green line is. True. And then you'll get... Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you need three. Go through the bowl. Uh, get the dot. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you think you could go through the bowl? I thought I had a thing, but I only had one. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Uh, but you, you... I could have done it. Yeah, not finished. too bad. You didn't have a bull thing! I did have a bull thing! You didn't have the diamond! <laughs> the diamond that kills the bull magically. Yeah. So I just do all these. Yeah. Okay, I thought there was some trick. Yeah. It really looked like there was a trick. Maybe there is. <gasps> so no. get the key. Now I'm full, so I should go do that now. You need the one. Oh, what are, what are you trying to do? One. You need the one and then go back. Go back. Don't waste any moves, because I need all these moves. And then you need that, and then the two, and then you go back. And then don't go through the bowl. Go through the bowl? Don't go through the bowl. <laughs> go through that, then you get a thing, then you get three, and then you don't go need that. Go through the that. bowl? <laughs> <laughs> I yelled at the screen. You, you didn't, didn't hear me. <laughs> nope. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I'm going to wait. Wait a very long time. <laughs> until I do this. Um, oh. How do we get to one? Do you have a key? Do you oh. have a key? Now you're gonna get killed. I do have a key. You you just need to go through. Oh, baby. I couldn't get back. Yeah. But you no! <laughs> Can you can you cycle through the levels or you're stuck? That would be nice. So you can start on level four. Yeah, your score won't be as good. <laughs> no! Mm -hmm. How many levels did this have? A... So that was level... Four? Those dang ghosts! Ah! Beer all over what myself. What's happening? We've had too much beer. No, it just bounced on my breast. Uh, I think there's eight levels in this and 16 in the other. So I've only made it to level four. go. Those ghost levels are really, really annoying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Action puzzle games, it's hard to maintain a good balance mm -hmm. between an action and a puzzle game. When you have to figure out a puzzle while things are trying to actively kill yeah. you. And you have to do things in a certain order. Level two. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Get ready. <laughs> oh. What happened? Ran out of. Oh yeah. Bloody moves. Yeah, you need to get the one and get the thing down there. Get the thing down there. Oh babies. <laughs> oh, that was level five that we died on. Yeah. Good job, Tanya. Ah! Go, 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 go! Well, actually, it's not that bad. Then you just wait. 
<laughs> again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to get that. And then go through go the key. Where's the key? You picked up the key already. Yeah, I did. So, so teleport. Get the bull thing. Get the thing at the top. Go through the bull. Get the things. Get the things. Get the things. Oh, the things. The things. Oh, it's an Atari symbol. Do it right. Okay, <laughs> <Do it> right. <laughs> <laughs> tell me what get I need to do. Get the key. Go and then wait for the teleporter. Yep. Then go to the bowl. You get get the things. Okay. Get go the diamond. Around. Get the one. Yeah. Then down to the two. No, Make get sure the other you thing. get. Okay, teleport. Get the diamond. Get the bull. Get the two. The two life extenders. And then go through that. Go down. Get the and you one. need the one. Get the other thing. Maybe I don't know. Oh. Oh, that's it. What? That's it. You don't need to get the numbers. <gasps> Seriously. They're for points. Okay. Forget points. I hate points. I like levels. Okay, we're level six out of sixty. Mm. So. Hmm. <sighs> A nice calm one, no ghosts. You only need to get the ring. There's a whole bunch of ones and twos, so maybe you can only There's get one one, one and one two. There's one teleporter behind a bull. Or one switch, I guess. Um, you need the switch to get... Oh. <clears throat> so if you... Okay, to get the... Oh yeah, I think it's... Oh no, there's a one down there. Oh! Oh, that's easy. You just need to get... There's probably multiple ways, but There's if you go and, and get the two. bull, teleport to that guy. Yeah. Go and get the key. Should I get that dot first? I wonder if you'll have enough. I think I'm going to get that dot first. Yeah. Should I get the other dot? Yes. It builds up. So. Sure. Then go down. Yep. Yeah, get the killer. Get the bull. Yeah. Get the diamond. Get the bull. Teleport. Okay. Now, go get the key. Yep. Get the Should two things. Yep. Then come back around. Okay. Go to get the one, the get two. Get the one. And then Hopefully the other you have one. enough. Get the one. Don't get the other one. Get the two. Then go through you have the key, so go through the lock. Should I get Go through the lock. Not the one? Go through the lock. Because then you have to go back and get the two at well, I don't know. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, I guess. I don't know if you can go one, two, one. Mm, yeah, it probably starts over. I don't think so. I think you probably get one shot at a one and one shot at a two. Oh, yep. Do you want to kill yourself? <laughs> no, I just tried the one. It doesn't work. Yeah, so there you go. Because it could have killed you, too. I don't know. Points? Those are for other people. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's what I say. If there are levels, I don't care about points. I want to get to the end of the game. Points uh... are when you finish the game and you want to do better at the game. But until then, finishing mm -hmm. a game is my number one goal. Ooh, you, so you're going to have to be very careful here because... I have no choices at first. I you, have to teleport. Yeah, but don't take too many steps because you, you're you going to run out really fast. So you have to get the one. Yes. Go through the bull, teleport back, get the two. Oh God. So you have to... Be perfect. It's a scarcity one. Uh, you're going to have to teleport. I wonder if you should... I should get the key. Get the key? And that gets the lock. And I need... And I, I have to get three first. So I've got one and two. And to get through that four, I need to get the three. So at least I need to get the key first. I would get every little every, every little dot. life extender yep. stick. Yep. Go through that teleporter. Get the key, go through that teleporter. And then just do the rest. Yeah. I think so. Be very careful. Don't go Damn through it. the Go through the teleporter. Nope. You're gonna need that life extender right away. Yep. Oh, plenty. Oh, what did you do? Oh no! I'll have enough. I'll have enough. <laughs> go, go, get the zero. Why are you getting the five? Oh. You can just go through. Because <laughs> I was thinking that the teleporter blocked it still. <gasps> okay. Now I'm in so much trouble. Go up. How did you get? You have to get past the bull. 
Oh, look at that. Did I just do it? Oh, terrible points. <laughs> Get away from these ghost levels. Okay, very good points. Terrible. Terrible. STD? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the points. <laughs> Oh, good. Another puzzle level. Mm. I don't know what level we're on. It just says two now. Twelve? <laughs> we haven't done that many levels. STD? The play field has spelled out. Oh. STD! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. This one's mirrored. Are they all mid mirrored? No, I don't think so. No. The f first one said Hugo. Um, all right. Okay. The things are mm. the key. You have to work backwards. There's the ring. I need a five. You need a five. So I need to get all the numbers. One, two, three, and four. There's a bullet by the two. There's a one. There's a teleporter. I need to get a four. I need to get the key. The teleporter gets you to the two. I can get the one But you need first. you need the the diamond to get through that bowl to get right. to the two. So I'm gonna get the one and the dot. And maybe the other dot. No. Uh, there's a dot no. there. There's no. a dot there. I can. I, I, I would. I would teleport. Yeah. There's enough. And then get the dot. And get the diamond. Then go get that dot in the bowl and the two. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Now you have to. I'm gonna teleport. Teleport back. Because that uh, opens wait, up wait, the wait, passage. wait! Before you do anything crazy, teleport at the one closest to the four. Yeah. Why? I can teleport that. One. Yeah, or that one. That one. Because that that'll open up. Too. You just don't have to go too far. Then you get the dot and the three and the key. Oh, you have no more teleport. Yeah, I've got two more. Oh, over there. So get the yeah, get the dot. And the three, three and, and, and the key. key. And go to the teleport over there. I'll get that dot. And the other dot. Then teleport. Go through and get the four. And then teleport back. And then it gets the five. Oh, and then you teleport again. Oh, you know what? Do I have to switch, guys, or something? I would... Uh... Yes, maybe teleport at the one closest to the dot, and then when you have to teleport the other guy back, because you will. Because I need to get him out of the way, right? Or no? Okay. Teleport to there changes that guy. Five teleports there. Yeah. Changes teleport the to that. Teleport that. That's fine. That, fine. Because you're going to need the dots. You're going to need the dots because the guy has to come all the way back around. Oh, so do that one. I think. Yeah. That's true. Wait, how do you get the bull? You don't need to get the bull. Yeah, you do. Why? How do you get past the bull? I don't need oh, you tell. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that now makes it's sense. gonna be ghost. I bet. Oh god. <laughs> the ghost just. I hate the ghost. It's freaky. Oh, another mm. teleporting. This is getting more complex. You have to. You have to set up each smiley face so, so far they're, they're not trapping the smiley faces yet they're not like putting one in in the way of another one and you have no teleports left but this one might be the level that it does it on okay so work backwards you need to get the ring which is in front of a teleport which is in front of another teleport or you might not need the one two three or four there's a teleport right by there. There's a lock in front of it, yeah. So I at least need to get the key. Well, you can go all the way around underneath. Mm -hmm. So what you could do is... Just keep teleporting and staying close to the dots. Yeah. I bet you could do that. I don't know. Depends if you run out. It's well, worth a try. Because um, you could go down, get the key. Do I have enough? Get the extender. Uh, yep. Teleport. And then teleport again. Teleport again, get that dot, because I need to get dots. Mm. Maybe it's a thing where there's not quite enough <laughs> life to do it yeah. until you, unless you do get the numbers. If you go key, Either dot, way, I should teleport. get the dot. 
and the key and the teleport. Teleport again. Well, maybe that you don't need to teleport again. Get the key. Get the tele dot. Okay, wait, wait. Yep. So if you teleport. Changes that guy. Teleport again. Changes that guy. Teleport again. Then I can get that dot. Yeah, but then you have to go all the way around. You have no way to quickly teleport. It's the fastest way to get that dot. The next dot is very far. Much further than that one. Even. What if you teleport. went over to that teleport? Okay. Or that upper teleport? Oh, yeah. Can you make is... it that far? I think so. And then, boom, d get the dot. Oh, but then, yeah. I don't know. This one or the top one? Mm -hmm. I'll do the top one. That opens it up. Then you get... Get a dot. Get that. What did you get? Oh, the bull. I don't think you need that, but... Eh. Or maybe, because then, then you can go all the way back back around, possibly. If I go up to there, clear that one, that guy gets the dot, and then he just needs to make then it he, to a teleport, He, he can done. go path through the bull now, because you have the bull thing. Ooh. He can go up the top, down, and up through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, get the dot. Get kill the bull. Get that dot. Maybe get the other one. I don't know, just for safety. Yeah, oh. Then I'm done. No, you just need to teleport. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. And it's a ghost level in it. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, one. Oh, I need that one. I'm going to have to run out. I'm going to run out of it. Yeah. yeah. So you have to get the one immediately. One. And then teleport. Teleport. Oh, don't get the dots. <laughs> I think you need to get the dots and then get the one. Uh, I don't know. Damn it. And it takes so long time. to get back there. It's not enough time to process the screen. I know. It's like panic. It's like, look, it's a ghost. Ah, panic. <sighs> well, we gave that a good go. I, I think, think that was fun. I just wish you could kind of select the level so you could just go back to, to the level you that ended off at. That would be really nice. Yes, you don't get the score, but at least you can practice the levels a little bit more. Yeah. 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 But... You know, that's the challenge of the game. Good Thumbs game. All three. All three games. Four games. Which one four are you games. saying is not good? All three. All four games. <laughs> all four games are good. Yeah, all four 3K, games are good. 3K. I'm trying not to think of that, that, that cavern one. 3,000. Pilot X. The type of, the amount of years it takes to play through this casually. What? Three. <laughs> 3K? Uh, 3K. This mm. game would be great if there were bears in it. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. D-train, man. can change the uh, ghost to a bear and go... Rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah. <laughs> but it has to go through walls, so... Um, so... I'm a little too blue on here. Hmm? Mm. A little too blue. It is a little blue. I wonder if it's actually, uh... That's the screen, or is that the... Broadcast? No, we've changed it. Um, we're going to do a, um... A color correction, now that we've got a proper camera. Oh, We can even put okay. a LUT in that camera, so yeah. it's perfect for this yeah. lighting setup. Nice. Um, does Zookeeper have bears? Ooh, I think it does. It might have bears. Let's yeah. check really quick. Oh, and <laughs> actually, I can just check online, because I wouldn't be able to nice. make it to a bear level. I still haven't played that game. No? No. You've been playing with Erlen a lot, and Darcy, I think both of them. I don't think I've played Zookeeper yet. Well, let's play it really quickly. Uh, is there a bear? No, there's no bears in Zookeeper. Oh, I'm sadness. sorry. Let's play that really quick then. These were really fun games. All of them. Oh, Excellent yeah. choices. Excellent choices. Yeah. Sometimes they're hit or miss. I think they were all good. Even Pilot X, which was frustrating, had its had its um, strong points. Let's switch it over. You're playing zoo Zookeeper. You're playing Zookeeper. Oh. oh. Just for a little bit, just because you haven't played it. Hmm. I don't quite understand it. You have, you have to explain the game to me. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. It's beautiful. Oh, champ games, of course. Frostbite has bear. Frostbite does have bear. Yeah, we. Jump over the animals, get that beer for extra points. Get that beer. You get points from jumping over the animals. Do you? That's the big thing. Get that. Oh, you missed the net. The net puts the animals back inside. 
Oh, oh, I didn't die. Okay. Nope, you didn't run So you just jump, you're just trying to get high scores? Yep. And as they uh, get out of there, sometimes you actually want to let them. Oh. You ran into it without jumping. I, uh... Why, why do I get stuck here? You have to press in the other direction oh, I shouldn't before do that. you get to the corner. You kind of have to round the corner. Oh, I see. Right? So use, use the angles to go around the corners. Don't press just in one direction. Why, why am I stuck? Weird. <laughs> it's the first time I play this game, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never played this in the arcade, so... Yeah, I get stuck there every time. That's weird. Um, it's that particular angle, I think. Yeah, there might be a bug there. There may not be, because when we played it, there was some difficulty. So what is this? Can you not go up? You have to press up to the right. You're in that bottom the right corner. Up? Up, because you're going up. Around. Yeah, but it's like, it, it seems like I'm quite a ways from the edge to go up. You still have to do it. So you have to get up to the top right there, oh while boy. avoiding the... Oh top. my goodness, why can't I stay on the platforms? They are slidey. Oh, you got hit in the head by a coconut. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have to play that again. Settings, video, S video. Okay. One second. One second. Um, actually, they said it doesn't have to be an S video. It can be a really uh, high quality, higher quality. Which mm -hmm. one is it? Video. Uh, TV effects. Uh, it can be RGB. They said any anything works. There we go. That looks better. In, yeah, in the forums it said any kind of TV effect works. So now you can see the bricks a lot better. Mm. The game didn't work for me in full screen for some reason? Weird. Mm. I've not been able to get past the coconut screen. Uh, Rena Foot says. See there, I get stuck every time. That's weird. Well, I'll play it after you and I'll try it. I didn't have any trouble. After I started playing for a while, you have to... It's easier to jump than going the opposite direction they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So and this, this sends kind of the them back, right? Yeah. That sends yeah. them back. That's a net. Gotcha. It, it's such an arcade game. It, it's, it's an arcade game. This is the... Why can I stay on the platform? This game was never ported to any system ever. Except for the Atari 2600 now. Oh. <laughs> well, you'll get pushed off the screen if you go off the edge, right? Pushed off, yeah. Yeah. It looks like you're getting pushed off. I was. Killed. Well, no, I did get killed then. No, I mean by the screen. Um, the trick to this one is stay on the right until the very last second, then jump. Oh. Fall. Oh, you got hit in the head by coconut. Yeah, no, you can't control your fall. Is to stay on the one side until the last second, then go over. Because this is they'll be very challenging. Get it. Go, go, go. Oh. That is very challenging. They're what is loose. this? They're all loose. How can they be loose? Somebody didn't, uh, wasn't paying attention to the zoo. Terrible zookeepers. Yes, there you go. I get stuck there every time. I think that's a you problem. I don't think it is. <laughs> See, I get stuck every time. Every time. Mm. That's so weird. I have no trouble with any other co any other corner. Mm. Right there. Mm. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Not crazy. Delivery guys dropped off the animals in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you get the L1. That's fine. It doesn't save the scores yet. That's all right. So let's get around. I must just be not doing something in that corner. Yeah, you stop there too. You have to be diagonal, so you have to push on the diagonal. What do you mean on the diagonal? Up and to the right. Up but, and to the right. But I don't on the other corners. Maybe it's, I go over and down. Maybe I don't that go direction is not diagonal. natural to you. No, it's just weird. It's super weird. So you have to you have to act like it's a circle, basically. Yes. You get more. I think I was watching you and Erlen play this. You, you just want to jump over as much as you can, right? Yep. So you get lots of lots of points. And um, the combos 
more animals you jump over at a time, it just massively, massively increases your score. You can get half a million points on one jump. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh god. This is this is a challenging one. Well, look at all the coconuts. <laughs> you really have to do it right away. Like, almost like immediately, right? Oh, they're slippery. I, they, I find them uh, definitely jumping from the platforms is challenging. Those coconuts, man. Yeah, there's a lot of coconuts. This needs a Tempest Spinner instead. Yeah, it would only work on some levels, though, unfortunately. When you get to the... Uh, I guess you could spin left and right and jump. There's really no up. Oh. Oh. Camels. Camels are crazy. You can jump over quite a bit. Like, your jump is really long. Very long. Come on, camels. I kind of want to let them all loose. Because you want so the points. points, yeah. Like, you don't care about boxing them in. No, it's almost like just waiting for them to come by you and jumping over them. As long as I guess they don't get too chaotic that you can't do that. Yeah, because then, because some travel in opposite directions. And then it gets too crazy. And they all go at different speeds. So the higher level the animal is, the faster it runs around. The rhinos are just a bit faster than the camels. Damn it. You get 100 for the rhinos? You see, you two, you get 500 points. Come on, those that you want. There's two. Practice your turn. Rhino horn to the face. Boxing in a line is huge points. Boxing in a line or jumping over a line? You get no points for sending them back to the center. Really? Zero. But you get points at the end. Not very many, though. It's, 250, yeah. The points come from jumping. 100%. Well, I'm finishing the level, too. See? What? 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 Up, up to the right, there. Oh, it's the diagonal, I think. Oh, you can't do that. That causes me problems. Doing it in the opposite, in the direction that they're going. Mm, yeah, it's too hard to jump. You can see why it gets really crazy after a while. Oh, yeah, there's it's like... Come on! I, I need to practice that because it's just yeah. not doing what I want it to Air, do. Airline was having trouble with it too. At first. And then he was fine after a while. Or was he fine at first and then he got trouble after thinking about it too much? Yeah, it's, it's, sometimes that kills you. You can round the corners while jumping. Yeah, actually, jumping around the corners is easier than just going around. This is <laughs> killing me. I feel like sometimes you kind of half go through platforms and sometimes you don't. Am I crazy? You can jump up through them. Like off the edge. Yeah. Off the corners. I feel like there's... Oh. <laughs> the platform ran me into it. <laughs> this is not... This is definitely challenging. I didn't do it. The platform did it. You know what I mean. See... Oh my goodness gracious. They are kind of see-through at some points, right? When jumping up. Oh, I'm trying to take advantage of that, but it's not working. Oh, okay, I have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game. It is a fun game. It's really different. So really different. It's really not different like any other any game you play. No, there's no game like Zookeeper. Whoa. I did jump. It's kind of funny, because it doesn't always look like you're just... Ugh, in that corner. <laughs> Yeah, that's got to be a bug in the platforms. I I think so. It feels, yeah. I mean, this is not finished, this game. This is just a, a demo version of it. So it's got... I'd have to see how the one in the arcade works. Whether you can jump through the sides of the platforms a bit or not. Can you jump with the net? I don't think you can. Probably don't. Need to. 
<laughs> this isn't even the hard level. There's I can't even, Im I can't imagine a, that. It's so weird. The it's like The third screen is a hard one. Oh, oh no. It's terrible. <laughs> it's like sometimes you jump through the platform and you jump through like multiple platforms. Sometimes you don't. Yeah, sometimes you can get through them. Sometimes, oh, you almost made it. I, and then, oh, oh no. uh, it's not going to happen, but you, you'd have to go to the other side. Yeah. So challenging. Oh, you can't get up. You have to just it's stay down a bit. Very challenging. Well, you saved all your lives for this. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Opportunity. Yay! <laughs> There's, it's definitely stressful. <laughs> Oof. Careful. Careful. points. Wow. No bonus. You suck. Put all the animals back in. It does look like a knife. It looks <laughs> like you're smack, 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 smack. smack. Shopping knife. <laughs> I wonder if it's a flicker collision bug. Which? Oh, uh, platforms don't flicker though. I'm, I'm guessing he's talking about the platforms. I'll have to look at that second screen, second level. I don't think the platforms flicker, so I don't think that's a collision. Cause if, yeah, because if you hit your head at the same time, it's not flickering. It depends if he uses hardware collision or software collision as well. If he's, if he's using hardware collision, then yes, that makes more sense when jumping through the platforms. Sort of. I still have a problem with that corner. Yeah, you have to press the angles or, you know, two directions at once. I just tend to stay at the top of the screen. Mostly. It's kind of easier. Well, when it gets really hairy, yes, for sure. You get points for picking up the net. Is that I love the net, actually? I mean, we've already uh... gone through it, but the graphics are incredible in this game. There's no flicker in this. Platforms don't flicker at all, so. But the guy does when there's fruit and a coconut, so that might be true. Oh. It is when so there's weird. More than... Those platforms are so weird. When the movement a... is so strange sometimes. You have to watch when there's. Ooh, that's a lot of points. There you go. There you, go. <gasps> you didn't land on the platform, you went right over I her. I went through her. Yep. Long jump. It's close. Oh. Coconut was coming. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh right what the heck? Camel. Oh, that wasn't very good. My turn. My turn. Nine, nine, ten is pretty good though. It's a fun game. Mm -hmm. almost the end. It's almost easier to keep them in on the first round. Yeah, you, you probably get more get, points. Yeah, because it's, it's a pretty short round. It is. It's good to build it up at the top so they don't surprise you when you come out. It's 
true. And then just keep a nice, nice big platform at the top to jump over them. Three snakeys. Three snakeys. No bonus. Don't care. Bonuses are so tiny. You gotta get up there quick. There's so, so many coconuts on the screen. Oops. You can jump over them. Doesn't matter whether you get that or not. So do you get points for setting them to the middle? No, nothing. So there's no point. Really? In... So you... if you don't have a full box, there's absolutely no point in getting it. Yep. And you get more points for jumping over them than trapping them at the end. So. I don't understand why you'd want to ever trap them. Damn it! Hold up a wall. No surprises. I guess once they're out, they don't surprise you. There's new ones come, though. Oh, snake. I think we're playing this on easy after a while. That's what we're doing. That's why we can't make it so far. Because mm? there's an easy level. Oh. And, that's, and I was getting up to the lion stage. And I'm like, why am I not getting to the lion stage anymore? Oh, I see. You can hold down the button for multi jumps. So it might be good when it's hectic. Because you touch the. F the only time you can die is when you touch the ground. Oof. 2,000. Whoa. 1,500. 15,000. 15,000. That was a lot. I think I jumped four. Five. Oh, no. It was more than that. It was a lot. <laughs> there was a lot on the screen. You're not going to get the watermelon? Oh. Sure. It's like <laughs> watermelons have lots of points. Thousand points is not shitty. Damn it! Sixty-four. So what? What was your high score on this when you were playing it before? How high did you get? Uh, you were doing pretty we good. We were playing on easy. Oh, were you? Yeah. Mm. Novice. Yeah. I'll play it next. Hard, hard. And you can play it novice. No, I don't play novice. <laughs> Don't you are playing now. This I want to play easy. You get to the really high levels. Do you? Yeah, yes. yeah like you have stuff to get past stuff. the coconut levels though. And you get to see the second, the third stage, which is the jumping up the platforms. Mm. I think we made it to the second stage with normal. Maybe. Graphics are so good on this game. Of all the animals and the animation of the animals, unbelievable. Like, just look at the, the elephants and their tusks, and their trunks and their legs mm. moving. The snakes are just, a, I think, just two. Oof, this looks challenging. What happened? Bugs. It's a bug? Yeah. Do you have to approach her from the left, or...? Uh, no, you should be able to get it when you're... Just, no matter what, but it's... it's definitely Damn oh, it. Oh, he gotcha. But John Champ already saw that. Oh, okay. There's definitely platform bugs with mm. this level. Whew, that's a lot. God damn it. It's really hard. Advanced is hard. We can't die with the net, so that's a good thing. So it's worth getting it, because you can still jump over them and not die if you accidentally hit them. Hooray! Oh, I guess those others are bonus levels? Mm, that's what they call bonus, bonus level. <laughs> but you die on it. Bonus mm. levels you shouldn't have you shouldn't be able to die on them. Right? That's mm. why they're bonus. Ooh. 
really, really good. Uh... <laughs> no, but just like all the animals, like they're great. Done such a good job with them. Oh yeah, great graphics by Nathan Strong. Damn it! Oh, oh. oh that's, that's a bug. A bug. <laughs> and reboot. <laughs> reboot. Mm -hmm. One more for you. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Stand mm -hmm. Left to right for standard or advanced. We can do novice. He saw that bug when we were playing. Too. So well, that was your high? Oh no, we don't know what your high score was. Didn't make it. Oh, it reset. That's why. It reset everything. Even the high scores there. Is that all I get? One? Yeah, I think you found that in the last episode. Yes, I did. Oh, my goodness. The, I can't see the chat. That stupid support thing is popping up again. I don't know why it keeps coming up. It seems like half clearing the animals and landing between them, t you still get the points. Half clearing the animals. Hmm. How many K is this game? 32. Yeah. Animation is stout. Stout? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get all the bonus. Nope. Oh, some of them. The one guy got out. Most of it. When you can't rescue Zelda. Yeah, I, I did find that. When you can... You, like, you walk the whole platform. From right to left. There you go. <sighs> Seems that you have to land in that jumps. specific spot. Yeah. Sometimes you can just keep walking. You can walk across that spot. Why am I having so much trouble? I have no idea. With that one corner. Oh, actually, all of the corners. <laughs> all the corners. <laughs> <laughs> Speeds of the animals. I think it's the number of the animals. They all seem to be moving just as fast. And the time doesn't go any faster. Fewer animals, I think. Yeah, I think it is. You gotta practice those corners. Oh, they're terrible! He does need to put some more leeway into those corners. Oh, oh you almost landed! That would have been good points. Oh, that would have been good points. Oh. Ah! No. I'm having such a hard time with this today. Platforms and me are not getting along. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Just touched Love it. Love the look of him when he gets hit. Still get another go at it. There's a time limit to this. It's just the bottom shelf disappears, yeah. Oh, he followed me! <laughs> the coconut! Grr, coconut! Grr Eat seeking you. coconut! <laughs> yeah. yeah, the bouncing of the coconuts is amazing, too. They hit the platforms and they change direction. Lots of lives. Oh, you get more lives. Is that, is that what yes. the novice is? Yes. And I think less animals. This is oh, so crazy. God. You know missing, what it is? Missing every platform. Oh. You hit them and you bounce off and then you cease to have control. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. And then you start falling through them. <laughs> I am not a fan of these platforms. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Midnight. Gotta yell at my kids. Get to bed. Yeah. <laughs> get to bed, kids. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm we're good. done. Thank you for letting me play that. Yeah, I thought Getting you in. want to play that. It's Saturday in New Jersey. Yep. <laughs> it's Saturday. Frogger all over again. <laughs>
Nice. That was fun. It is. Oh, it's an it's amazing game. It's so good game. to be back. I haven't played in so long. Yeah. It's been weeks and weeks and weeks. Probably a month or oh, more Oh, it's you. been a month, I think. It, well, close. It's yeah. been a few weeks because I think you last played with Darcy. Right. So, yeah. I played, I played with... I don't remember now the last time I played. Yeah. Saturday in Brooklyn as well. Yeah, it just hit nine o'clock here, so it's midnight on oh, the East that's Coast. It, yeah. Time to be done, EST, I think. Yeah. Um. So we played Ninja Sky in Low Res World, masterpiece. It's a beautiful game. Mm -hmm. Great platformer. Mm -hmm. Pilot X, incredibly frustrating. Super hard. I want to go and play it. Some Fun. More ish it, it's really it, hard so challenging you can't help but play it because it's like yeah. okay no i have to get past the first like three inches of screen <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that's the least scroll can do off it. the screen <laughs> yeah. um yeah. snowflakes 2019 fun mm. simple little game nice little improvements he did mm. over last year mm. um really good way better with a paddle we don't have the ability to do a paddle game tonight i'll be working on that at the weekend fixing my atari yeah hopefully. yeah 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 yeah. Hugo Hunt, really good puzzle game. I don't like the ghosts. <laughs> if you just got rid of all the ghost levels, well, I, would... I don't think those are bad. It it adds a dimension to it. There's a panic yeah. dimension. God, there's a ghost. Ah! <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I almost wish yeah. you had infinite lives in Hugo Hunt. Or... It's not infinite lives. I wish you could pick the level as you started at. Yeah, and continue because, from there. And so, like, you have to at least make it to there, but you can continue. Because I like those games because your score starts at zero again. So it's not yeah. like you're gonna suddenly look like you, you know, that's true. You won the game because you didn't start from the first level, but right. but so you, you won't can get play high score. them. Yeah, that would yeah. be nice if you could cycle through. Yeah, yeah, fix that Atari. And obviously, uh, Zookeeper is amazing, but that yeah. wasn't on the roster tonight. I just had to play it. I yeah. was like feeling feeling uh, neglected because I think everyone oh. else has gone to play. Oh, me. that's true. So I really wanted to play it. It looked really good. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. it was good. I think I even remember when you were doing videotaping in Portland. Yeah. And it was on in the background, and you were playing it, and I was like, I want to play that game because <laughs> I think they had a demo in Portland. They did. Yeah. An early, early, and early And I'm demo. like, oh, I still haven't gotten a chance, so thank you. <laughs> yes, I suppose I will attempt, at least I'll install that piece that I got um, from Australia. So, oh, it's gone. Better put it back in there. <laughs> and it. forget it. And it's a capacitor, too, that somebody yeah. said was looking a little iffy. So. Iffy capacitor? Yeah. So oh, I'll install that nice. as well at the same time. Nice. Might as well. Yeah. In case that's bad. And I've got a whole slew of other pieces that could be gone bad as well. Mm. So I'll do that first, test it out. Hopefully it's just that. Uh, next episode, something very special for mm. you. VHZC's uh, remake of Peril. He's, he completely redid it um, mm. from scratch. All new levels. All new graphics on those levels as well. Mm -hmm. You got an emote thanks to Repentless VG subscription. Thank you very much. Oh, it's going away. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, I can still thank you. There we go. Add a message to thank Repentless VG yeah, for your just gift. Here. So, just send thanks. I'll just send the default. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> thanks for the ha ha dreidel. <laughs> Woo! That's hilarious. Thank you. Thank you for resubscribing Repentless VG. Thank you very, very, very much. There's a dreidel. Now everybody can use the dreidel, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's go to the emotes. There we go. Mm. It's called Haha -ha Dreidel. So all you have to do is type in Haha -ha Dreidel. Excellent. Um, uh, next episode, we're also going to be playing Penalt. Uh, it's an update that he did. Um, so we've only got two games next episode because they're two big games. Mm. Uh, and then on that's Wednesday with Erlen, Return of Erlen. Mm -hmm. And then on uh, next Friday, we're going to be playing Mr. Yo-Yo, Beer Pong, George 2007, and George 2019, and maybe one extra game, it mm -hmm. says there. Beer Pong? Beer Pong. That's awesome. It's actually Beer Pong. Is it? Oh, okay. Sorry, that um, was Friday? It's made by E.A. Smith, the mm -hmm. guy who did the bowling, the golf, the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, yeah, it's next Friday. Mm -hmm. um, then on the 15th, we're playing Steam Tunnel Bob, Pressure Gauge. Z1B, Cisne, Cramia, Labimento, a whole bunch of Brazilian games that I can't pronounce. Curry Rama, yeah. Because they were all found recently. Nice. Uh, 
And then on January 17th, mm -hmm. we're going to be oh. revealing the 2019 yes. Atari Homebrew Award nominees. Yes. Which is for very who exciting. You can, who you can vote who for. Who you can vote for. Yeah. And then the next day, or at midnight that day? Anyway, very shortly after, because the voting starts on the 18th. Mm. Um, or maybe I'll release it right after the show, if everything's set up. But it'll at least be the next day. So you'll know the top 10 who you'll be voting on that the nominee committee narrowed down the field to. Mm. Very exciting. And then from there on, for the two episodes after that, we'll be playing all the best ones, all the nominees. Excellent. For um, nice. 2019 nice. nominees like we did last year. And okay. That was a lot of fun because it's all the best of the best games. Mm -hmm. Up to 1,830 channel points. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, where is that? I don't even see it. All the channel... No, can't see it. Don't know where the channel points are. We need some celebrities to announce <laughs> the names of the nominees. Mm. Hmm. Don't know any celebrities. Who would the celebrities be? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to think on that. Yeah. Um, so that's what's coming up. And then, of course, on February 1st is the 2019 second annual Atari Homebrew yes. Awards. I'm going to probably start calling them like second annual and third annual. Mm. Because saying 2019 in 2020 is kind of weird. Like for the Oscars, what do they say? They say the 50th annual Oscars. <laughs> they don't say the, the year. The second annual right? Atari Homebrew Awards. They, ne they Awards. never say the year with the Oscars. Yeah, no, they don't usually. 51st first, first Oscar Awards. Yeah. yeah, so we'll probably change to that next year. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Oscars do it for the year previous. Yeah. So we'll do that. Mm -hmm. I just don't... It's just awkward. It's well, like, you don't need to say it. It's obvious. It's not for 2020. So... Yeah. 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 And and saying That's the third fair. next year will be will be good. Yeah. Because it'll be the third. Mm -hmm. um, below the chat room box... Oh, I don't... I don't see that number. I, I have infinite channel points. Oh, everybody has different channel points. What is that? So... Oh, so you can put whatever you want. I can put whatever I want because it's my channel. Oh. Uh, so I can put a sideways, what? Streamer doesn't have any emotes. Anyway, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, I've not played with the stream chat on Twitch whatsoever. Something I, new with Twitch. Yeah, you know. I pay don't for really or? understand. So. No idea. <sighs> yeah. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Arena Foot, yes. D-Train 37, RC70, I is supposed to, Repentless VG, Dan AVC, Bo, bo, Repentless VG already said Darkonis, welcome your new name Yeah uh, RC, where are we? Spindly, Spindly 1970 Hoot. Um, Who I believe is on both nomination committees oh, On the Atari 5200 nice. 8-bit And also nice. the Atari 2600 nice. Doing double duty um, as, as well as um, Oh, somebody else as well is doing that as well uh, who else is in here? Okay, I supposed to. Uh, Cafe Man 2D. Mm -hmm. uh, VHZC, I know. I don't know if we'll scroll back that far. Nope. Scrolled off the screen. Yep. I'm going I'm going mess for 5200, 7800, 8-bit. Well, not mm -hmm. a 7800 because there is oh. no 7800 games. Charles Reese. And Charles Reese snuck in at the last second. Oh, no, he's been in earlier. Oh, I did. Yep, did, yep. I missed his name. You missed. Yeah. Great to see you again, friends. I missed you. We missed you, too. Yes. It's great to be playing <laughs> these games again because it's time to catch up with all the games that have been released in the yeah. month or, you mm -hmm. know, two weeks that we've been away. Oh, it's nice. Still 20 people in the chat room. Yes, it's great. Yeah. It's, it's been um, great a lot of people, a lot of chatting, which is nice. I like to see mm -hmm. a lot of chatting. When Whenever the chat gets quiet... Either we're concentrating and they're yeah. watching. Usually you're going for high score and it's like there's <laughs> yeah, not much to talk true. about anymore. Because so I'm just it's silent nice. and I'm concentrating. Yeah. It's usually on the um, Activision games, which I want to hold off till the Atari's fixed because then you get a legitimate score, right? Mm. Not that it's much different on the emulation, but... Mm. What does the people number mean then? It says 12, but 20 in chat. I don't know. I don't get numbers. This goes off the screen. I can't even see everybody's name now. Yeah. How Users in chat. Yeah, that's just people who are there. I, don't I get, have no idea. I, I don't have any numbers. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Twitch is a it's mystery very, to me. It is a mystery. It just works. It broadcasts. People can chat. That's good enough for me. <laughs> So I want to say good night to yes, everyone yeah. and thanks for tuning in. Welcome have to year three 
of yeah, the Page Homebrew. So true, yeah. Yep. Start Happy New three. Year to everyone too. Yes. I hope you had a wonderful holidays and you got whether all the you were you wanted. F- filled with family <laughs> and and it was busy or you just stayed home and played games all 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 um yeah. over the holiday period. I hope you enjoyed yourself. So. Mm-hmm. And I think um, we're going to go play some more games. <laughs> Probably on on the switch. <laughs> Maybe on the switch. Yeah. Or watch a movie. Or, or I'm gonna finish relax. watching Witcher. I'm just gonna throw that out there. No. <laughs> I'll be doing something else. You putting... can play the switch oh, that's on the true. switch, and I can finish watching Witcher. Yeah. Eh, small screen. Yeah. Oh, we'll you see. can do it. At least I can try. RC seventy. Yes, loved it. Already finished. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's it's crazy you, you because just finished episode six. six. Or five. Five, five or six. Or six. Yeah. Um, I what? tried to watch it on the flights back and forth oh, to Ottawa, and then I ran into all kinds of... Download issues or something. Yeah. We'll you know. just call them technical issues. Um, Charles uh, Reese, we post it 24 hours from the start of the show. So whenever the show started for you, that's when it's posted. So for us, it's uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Mm-hmm. That's when it's posted tomorrow. Saturday, 6 p.m. Because there's a amount of time that twitch doesn't allow me to post it Mm. so you can either rewind it on twitch or watch the better version in youtube because for some reason the the 60 frames a second works better on youtube i don't know why yeah Mm. 24 hours yeah i gotta watch it i watched his dark materials and watchmen in the last two weeks oh is that both the directors oh watch oh i don't know oh no his dark materials is the name of the show oh uh watchmen is supposed to be fabulous everyone talks about how good that is i haven't seen it yet um, the Witcher, I was not digging Henry Cavill when I heard he, he was in the main role, but I, I swear he's trying to impersonate Witcher from Witcher. Oh, like, it's been said that he is. Oh, like a complete impersonation. And yeah. I'm Cause he likes really, the game. really enjoying that. <laughs> it works. It just feels like the video game. He's and, got and, a low voice. And I, I, I get, I'm Batman. <laughs> I get critics don't like it, but I think if you like the video game, it's hard not to like the video. Anyway, I digress. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I have to finish watching that, so. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You can play. You can play your Switch while I'm. I'm yeah, I'll try out the Switch portability. You can make noises like "oh, that's lame." Oh, uh, the whole time I'm watching it too. Terrible like dialogue. It. <laughs> it's like oh, boobies. <laughs> uh, didn't yeah. know I could rewind it on Twitch. Yes, you can. So if you miss it here, you can do that. We can talk about that on your Twitch stream. Okay, <laughs> we'll have it playing the or, or what is it like one of those reaction live videos live watching and yeah. and we'll all just join in and yes. just just make comments the whole way through. What are they called? And James can play the Switch and make comments and sigh in the background and then uh, and then yeah oh oh nudity oh uh, that's great yeah <laughs> just pause. just pause yeah <laughs> anyway. Anyway, all right. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot Glad of fun. Glad to be back. Always good for year three, and yeah. uh, we will see you on Wednesday, <laughs> okay. eleven a.m. with Erilyn. So yeah, bye-bye. bye bye.